What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 6TG Chapter 126 Venom Cloning Mechanism, Special Training from Baitwan, Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. But now, Venom only absorbs dark fruit, and there are two fruit vacancies, which are enough to absorb nuclear energy fruit and networking fruit. After absorbing these two fruits, Sikong Yi is equivalent to possessing unlimited physical strength and energy, and has created an internet empire that can shake the entire One Piece world. That Xiao Yi, can you let me experience the feeling of being possessed by Venom? I want to know whether the Venom fruit can be possessed by other demon fruit powers. Marco came to Sikong Yi at this time and suggested. Okay, for this, Sikong Yi did not refuse, he also wanted to clone the physiques of Malkasok and Amir by the way. In the next period of time, except for Teach, the other three team leaders took turns to experience the feeling of being possessed by the venom fruit. All three praised it again and again, especially Marco was stunned when he confirmed that the venom fruit could be superimposed with his phoenix fruit. Doesn't this mean that one person can use, two devil fruits? Seeing this scene, Teach's eyes turned red with jealousy. I will get this venom fruit no matter what, Teach secretly felt ruthless in his heart. During the experience of several people, Sikong Yi also obtained Marco's bird form and Namir's underwater breathing ability. As for Sage, he doesn't have any special physique, so Venom doesn't even bother to clone. It's a pity that Marco's undead physique Venom cannot be cloned at all, but through the self-healing ability of the Phoenix Fruit, Venom has deduced a more convenient and less labor-saving self-healing method. It's better than nothing. Venom is actually like a warrior, rather than a mage or an elementalist. It can only clone abilities with good compatibility, that is, physical skills. It cannot clone abilities with extremely poor compatibility, that is, spell abilities, which can also be said to be elemental abilities. After showing the Venom, Sikong Yi and Luffy and others trained together with Sage, Teach and Amir. With the guidance of these big pirates from New World, presumably Luffy and the others will avoid a lot of detours along the way of cultivation. By the coast, on the sand. Luffy and others first carried out basic physical training under the watchful eyes of the Three of Sacks, and after confirming the physical strength of everyone, Master then began grouping for targeted training. Because Luffy is too strong, far superior to the rest of the crew, he was assigned to a group alone. It is Teach who is in charge of guiding Luffy. There are no bells and whistles on both sides, and it is a fist to body battle. Through combat, you can hone Luffy's six moves in hockey, and increase your combat experience. This is perfect for Luffy, who has strength but is a beginner in combat. The rest of the crew were divided into two groups, the female group was trained by Saki, and the male group was trained by Namir. Saki's training is relatively routine, similar to when Sikong Yi trained his partners in Corpo Mountain. Two training modes of blindfolded and beaten and trampled on the ground have become the norm. But for girls, this level of training is just right. It was Kuina who applied for additional training in fencing, to which Sachi readily agreed, and arranged for Kuina according to the pattern of Foil Beast's daily training. And Namur's training mode is a bit crazy and extreme. The normally taciturn Murloc threw Ace, Sabo, and Usopp into the sea without saying a word. Whenever someone is about to drown, Namur will fish out the person, rest for five minutes and throw them back into the sea. It is clear that they want to exercise their willpower through the curse of the sea. In the original book, Luffy and Kid carry the sea stone in the Wanokuni rabbit bowl, and grow from weak and weak to full of strength step by step, which is to constantly overcome the side effects of devil fruit through willpower. Although it was a bit early for the friends, Sikong Yi did not stop it. No pain no gain. Especially Ace and Usopp, the former relies too much on devil fruit in the original work, and finally dies, the latter is too timid and fearful in the original work. These two guys really need Namur's training mode to sharpen their minds. As for Sabo, Sikong Yi expected more from him than anyone else. In the original book, as the chief of staff of the Revolutionary Army, his strength and wisdom are top-notch, and the most important thing is that Sabo's thoughts are more in line with his wishes. Luffy Ace and others, in fact, all aim to become stronger, although they are kind-hearted, they can't help but draw their swords to help when they see injustice. But none of them have Sabo's idea of wanting to change this dirty world, maybe, but not strongly. Asking for flowers. As for Sabo, he will be his capable man to overthrow the Celestial Dragon's rule in the future. While the partners were training, Sikong Yi was not idle, and directly summoned the Venom Armor and Fallen Angel Wings to fly over the sea, and practiced against Marco, who also had wings on his back. It is said to be sparring, but in fact it is Marco who keeps feeding the Venom. Venom is a two-color hockey trained for evasion or resistance from the city. Bang bang bang. On the surface of the sea, two figures were constantly moving in the air at high speed, colliding with each other from time to time, making deafening noises. Point zero the two sides come and go. Marco is aggressive and aggressive, while Sikong Yi is more conservative and keeps moving around. Obviously exhausted. The movement here naturally attracted the attention of the villagers in Kokoyasi village. What are you doing at the beach today? I heard the sound of fighting over there. After washing the dishes, Makino approached Sikong Yi and asked. 
Sikong Yi did not hide anything, told Makino about the training, and gave him a few words of comfort. From time to time, he resisted a few tricks and forcibly tempered his body with the help of external force. Therefore, Makino tactfully did not bring up the matter of returning to Windmill Village 5. Except for half an hour for lunch, Luffy and his group devoted all the rest of the time to exercise. In addition, this time, people from the Whitebeard Pirates will help with the special training, which will definitely only make it more difficult. Don't worry, this bit of training is nothing to them. The more hardships they endure now, the less bloodshed will be shed on the battlefield in the future. Makino nodded and said nothing more. At dusk, after Sikong Yi and Marco made an appointment with each other to continue training tomorrow, they brought their partners back to the temporary residence in the Orange Garden. The airwaves spread, and the waves rolled up and beat towards the beach, layer upon layer, with great momentum. This training is the cause. She has been sailing with the Z-Way pirates for a while, and she has also seen the training process of Sikong Yi and others, so she naturally knows how hard their training is. After a hasty dinner, except for Sikong Yi, the rest of the friends fell asleep. However, after seeing such a horrific battle in Skyrim, everyone was very rational and stayed away from the east blue shore of the village. Chapter 127 After absorbing the fruit, the venom gradually turns into an Iron Man. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Sikong Yi chatted with Makino for a few words, the former greeted Pochi Vigil again, and then returned to the Emperor Star alone. The Emperor Star is moored at the port, while the pirate ship of Marco and others has sailed to the east coast. The two ships are not in the same place at present. With the hidden ship, the Emperor Star does not have to worry about being discovered by civilians during its birth, and there is no need to worry about causing panic. Naturally, there is no need to transfer the pirate ship like Marco. Entering the captain's cabin, Sikong Yi did not turn on the lights after locking the doors and windows. Sitting straight on the floor, he took out an off-white devil fruit shaped like a mushroom cloud from the system space. This devil fruit is exactly the nuclear energy fruit. It looks like a mushroom cloud, and I don't know if it is implying something. Venom, this nuclear energy fruit has a lot of side effects. It not only has nuclear radiation, but also accelerates the decay of cells to make them age quickly. Sikong, 27, Knight briefly explained, and then asked Venom. Do you think you can withstand these two side effects with your physique? After listening to Venom, he didn't rush to answer, but fell into deep thought, obviously deducing the feasibility of eliminating side effects. After a long time, the liquid opened. Master, with my self-healing ability, it is not difficult to withstand the damage of nuclear radiation, but the accelerated aging makes it impossible for me to completely resist. Huh? Even you can't do it? Sikong Yi frowned. Although the Venom said that it cannot completely resist, that is, it can resist part of it, but this is still a big hidden danger. Master. There is no need to worry, as long as I keep getting stronger and cloning other people in the future, there will be a way to completely overcome the problem of aging. Hearing Venom swearing words, Sikong Yi felt that Venom was like the kind of dead soldier who was desperate for his master. Master, I'm not lying. I can't completely resist at present. The main reason is that the decay of cells is far beyond the upper limit of self-repair. I need to adapt and evolve to completely overcome it. Venom sensed Sikong Yi's inner voice and quickly explained. Sikong Yi was silent for a moment and finally nodded in agreement with Venom's decision to swallow the fruit of nuclear energy. Venom is right, its strength lies in adaptation and evolution, and swallowing the fruit of nuclear energy can strengthen its ability to adapt and evolve. Maybe by then the old Kong problem will be subdued directly. With the approval of the owner, the Venom suddenly popped a black and ferocious head, and ate the nuclear energy fruit in one gulp. How about it? Unpalatable, I'm not asking about your taste, I want to ask if you can fully control the fruit of nuclear energy, and will it suddenly go out of control and explode into nuclear radiation? Master, don't worry. The nuclear fruit itself is controllable, and will not release nuclear radiation due to insufficient control. As long as no nuclear radiation attack is carried out, the nuclear radiation produced by all controllable nuclear reactions will only accumulate in my body. Through the self-healing ability, these nuclear radiation accumulated in my body will not cause any harm. After being confirmed by the venom, Sikong Yi couldn't help but heave a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that if the venom couldn't control the nuclear energy fruit, nuclear radiation would explode directly. Although Sikong Yi is not afraid of death, he does not wish to experience this method of death either. Just as Sikong Yi was thinking, the black liquid quietly covered his whole body, and a faint blue light was suddenly released from the chest of the venom. Sikong Yi looked down subconsciously, and found that the blue light was like a ring, and an inverted triangle suddenly appeared in the ring. Isn't this Iron Man's fourth generation nuclear reactor? FK. At this moment Sikong Yi was really happy. With a nuclear reactor, it means that he will have unlimited energy and unlimited physical strength. However, before Sikong Yi recovered from the surprise, the venom sprayed out four spurting flames from the palms of both hands and the soles of both feet. The next moment, Sikong Yi was slowly lifted off the ground by the energy released by the venom. Is this Iron Man's flame throwing propulsion system? Master, I can convert nuclear energy into other non nuclear and radiation free energy sources to form power systems and combat systems. The power system is the situation shown now, 
which can move in the air. The combat system is to convert nuclear energy into laser, which can be used for point shooting, shelling or cutting operations. Venom responded simply. Listening to the news reported by Venom, Sikong Yi was ecstatic. His previous analysis was not wrong, the fruit of nuclear energy could indeed bring him a qualitative leap. Not to mention unlimited energy and physical strength, the power system and combat system have broadened Sikong Yi's means of movement and attack. Far exceeded Sikong Yi's psychological expectations. Back on the ground, Tong Kong Ye took out the fruit of networking again. This is a net-shaped colorful devil fruit shaped like a cantaloupe, which belongs to the special paramecia like the nuclear fruit. Venom, eat this too. Yes, master. Venom didn't talk nonsense, and directly swallowed the fruit of networking in one gulp. Ah. The moment the venom just swallowed the networking fruit, a layer upon layer of accents resounded from the venom's mouth, piercing the heart. And the venom has faint signs of leaving the body, as if it is exactly the same as the original version of the venom when it encountered a sonic attack. The venom cells scattered around all wailed in pain, and Sikong Yi's body was also affected to some extent. Fortunately, this feeling comes and goes quickly. In just five seconds, the venom stopped shouting, regrouped on Sikong Yi's body, and covered his whole body. Venom, are you there? Sikong Yi asked nervously, secretly praying that venom would never become an idiot. Although the idiot can be cured, it also means that the venom cannot withstand the side effects of the networked fruit, and it cannot drive the networked fruit. Master, I'm here. I'm fine, and I feel very good at the moment, as if my thinking has been sublimated like never before. Seeing that the venom spoke clearly, not like the symptoms of an idiot, Sikong Yi relaxed, and then asked about the ability that the venom had acquired. Master, my current thinking ability is no less than that of a Super 1.7 computer, and I can perform any big data calculation. And I can also create the internet, pull everyone in the world into the internet, set up various functions, manage, receive and transmit information. However, the most satisfying thing for me is that I can give instructions to my cells, so that all cells can divide their labor and implement efficient management. Supercomputer? Architecture network world? Giving instructions to cells? Sikong Yi was completely shocked. The first two means that Sikong Yi can create a huge internet empire in the world of One Piece and become a veritable internet giant. And giving instructions to cells, isn't this equivalent to nanotechnology? Fourth generation nuclear reactors, Jarvis level thinking, and nanotechnology, what's the difference between Venom and Iron Man today? Chapter 128 New Reward Order, Avengers Leader Buggy, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP Slim Desktop S01PF 3003HK Dian Now Dao Zhuang HPHK. 5299 Hong Kong Dollars D13 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Chi Wind. If the Venom activates the Flame Physique and Gold Physique, and puts on the Golden and Red 2 color pattern, it will be a high-end version of Iron Man. Sikong Yi decided, and the Venom armor will be officially renamed as the Venom Suit. Opening the attribute panel, Sikong Yi checked and found that his combat power had been upgraded to A plus level. It has completely surpassed Luffy's big realm and reached the strength of Naval Headquarters Elite Vice Admiral. Of course, the Marine Vice Admiral here mainly refers to regular personnel, not someone like Garp who is obviously capable and meritorious but refuses to be promoted. Although Sikong Yi has not mastered armament hockey at present, Dark Fruit and Venom quality are enough to replace the arm color to a certain extent to reach the standard of Elite Vice Admiral armament hockey. Fruit Buster. Unlimited Stamina. Elementalization of Special Paramecia. These three items alone are enough to put Sikong Yi among the top ranks of the Marine Elite Vice Admiral. Venom, can you create an internet world with your current development of internet connected fruits? Sikong Yi asked. 14 now, Teach has his eyes on him. With his current strength, it's hard to say whether he can kill Teach, but he can definitely be tough. But behind Teach, there are three captains of Marco and the entire Whitebeard Pirate Group. What he is most worried about is that after Teach fails to trouble him, he will bite back and push the Ziwe pirates to the opposite of the Whitebeard pirates. This is not what Sikong Yi wants to see. As a person who likes to plan for a rainy day, Sikong Yi naturally cannot sit still, and the fruit of the internet has become the best way to deal with Teach at present. Master, I can create the basic framework of the internet world now, but it will take at least 10 days, and during this time I cannot be disturbed or interrupted. If the master encounters trouble, I will not be able to provide immediate support. It doesn't matter, you start to create the internet world now. Sikong Yi ordered without hesitation. Anyway, with Yumi Chuanling and Shou and Chuanchi 2 god-level life-saving skills, it's actually not a big deal to be around for a few days. Soon, Venom fell into silence, and Sikong Yi himself fell into a beautiful dreamland after washing up. The sun rises from the sea level, on the east blue shore of Kokoyasi village, on the Whitebeard pirate ship, Marco got up and went to the deck, stretching himself. I accidentally saw a newspaper delivery gull flying in the sky in the distance. So Marco reached out to say hello. The newspaper delivery gull noticed this scene, and quickly landed on the ship's side. After collecting the money, he took out a newspaper and handed it to Marco. When the newspaper delivery gull flew away, Marco opened the newspaper in a leisurely manner, and a few reward orders mixed in the middle slid down on the wooden board. 
Marco bent down to pick it up, and couldn't help but startled when he saw some familiar photos, and then smiled. I didn't expect that these little guys would update the bounty so soon. Venom Sikong Yi. Only 10 years old, the captain of the Ziwei Pirates, who has the ability to venom fruit, and offers a reward of 50 million. Demon Luffy. At only 7 years old, the leader and deputy captain of the Ziwei Pirates 7 killing team, who possesses the ability of the demon fruit, has a reward of 30 million. Three Swords Shira Zoro. Only 9 years old, one of the 7 kills of the Ziwei Pirates, who has practiced the Three Swords style and has the ability to shear a fruit, and offers a reward of 30 million. Fallen Angel Karina. Only 8 years old, member of the Z-Way Pirates, who possesses the ability of the Fallen Angel Fruit, and offers a reward of 20 million. God of Medicine Hyphenation Point Kaya. Only 7 years old, a member of the Z-Way Pirates, who is suspected of healing fruit ability, can only be captured alive, and offers a reward of 10 million. Blast Usopp. Only 7 years old, a member of the Z-Way Pirates, who is suspected of having the ability to bomb fruit, and offers a reward of 10 million. Gale Swordsman Kuina. Only 11 years old, a member of the Z-Way Pirates, a person with the ability of the Wind Spirit Fruit, and a reward of 5 million is offered. When Marco saw that six of the Z-Way pirates broke the 10 million bounty, he opened his mouth wide in surprise. Then he checked the charges carefully, and found that all the little guys who offered a reward of more than 10 million had participated in the lion hunting campaign. Not only that, the newspaper also listed the crimes of Sikong Yi and others in detail. Luffy, the pirate corpse that devoured thousands of golden lion pirates. Zoro, alone against the berserk herd developed by golden lion. Kaya, healed golden lion's head and leg injuries. 09541214 Filu 132582290. Yusop, defeated Golden Lion's Kadri Indigo. Karina, stealing 99% of the Golden Lion's treasure. Sikong Yi, stealing the body of the Golden Lion. Before, Marco also heard some news from Luffy, but it was not true, he just thought that the Ziwei pirates were on a day trip to the Golden Lion station. Unexpectedly, the opponent actually made great achievements in the lion hunting battle. Among other things, just the fact that Karina stole the Golden Lion's treasure and Sikong Yi stole the Golden Lion's body is enough to shock people. Not to mention, there is another person in the Z-Way Pirates who seems to have the ability to heal fruit. If Kaya can help Dad to heal the hidden wounds on his body, maybe Dad won't be so uncomfortable every night. Marco thought. As a son of man, seeing his father's health deteriorating these past few years made him very uncomfortable. Now, with the appearance of Kaya, he sees the hope of curing Dad. Um, the next moment, Marco noticed the headlines in the newspaper? Celestial dragons died in Goa Kingdom, Avengers leader Buggy offered a reward of 530 billion. What? The celestial dragons are dead, and in the east blue of the weakest sea. Marco's eyes widened, and he was extremely shocked. Who is Buggy, who dared to kill celestial dragons? Also, this Buggy also created a Roush Avengers, is this looking to get revenge on the celestial dragons? The name Buggy seemed familiar, and for a moment, Marco thought of Buggy who had been an intern on the Luogia Pirates. Looking at the contents of the newspaper again, the red nose was indeed mentioned in it, and Marco was immediately convinced that the murderer who killed the celestial dragons was the buggy he knew. Tisk, today, it's going to change, Marco sighed with emotion. Not long after, Sachi and others woke up one after another, so Marco handed the newspaper to everyone for reading. After Teach saw that the dark fruit on Sikong Yi's reward order was modified into a venom fruit, his whole face turned green. Can Marine be more serious, there are always mistakes in issuing reward orders, and they are so outrageously wrong that they actually mistook the phantom beast for Logia. Although the appearance of venom is pitch black, it has nothing to do with dark fruit. If it wasn't for Marine's negligence, it wouldn't make him happy in vain. Fortunately, Sikong Yi's venom fruit is also very good, plus the secret of obtaining a large number of phantom beasts and the mysterious famous knife, it is not in vain. Chapter 129 rewards up to standard, dimensional matrix and vector control, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Siki and Namir focused all their attention on Kaya's reward order. God of Medicine Kaya? Suspected to be able to heal fruit? In an instant, the two of them changed from calm to excited, and then from excited to ecstatic. Captain Marco, look quickly, the little blonde girl in Z-Way Pirates has the ability to heal, can we invite her to New World to cure Dad's hidden illness? Sack looked excited. Yeah. Namur nodded. Seeing father's health getting worse and worse, these sons feel distressed. I'll talk about Dad's affairs later, you guys read the newspaper headlines first. Marco stood aside and reminded that the three of them didn't know what to say, but they subconsciously looked at the headlines of the newspaper. Then, they were all dumbfounded, celestial dragons killed? Kingdom of Goa, I remember this kingdom is in East Blue, right? That's right, and Goa Kingdom is also the hometown of Luffy Ace and Sabo. That buggy should be an intern on the Luogia Pirates. At this moment, Marco said suddenly, instantly attracting everyone's attention. Buggy? Is it that red nose that always hangs out with redheads? Teach was surprised. If I remember correctly, that red nose is extremely timid, I didn't expect to be able to do such a thing now. 
That's right, it's that buggy, I didn't expect him to be so courageous, to offend celestial dragons and the world government. Marco sighed with emotion, noticing that Sikong Yi and others had come to the East Bank for training as scheduled, so he said to the three of Saki. I'm afraid East Blue is going to be uneasy recently, we'd better leave quickly, I'll ask Xiao Yi later if he would like to go to New World with us. The three nodded, and there was no objection, but everyone didn't notice that there was a glint in the eyes of Teach who was walking at the end. The two groups of people gathered again, one with an unusually dignified expression, and the other with a more active look. Sikong Yi greeted Marco and the others, and was about to discuss the next training process, but Marco handed him the newspaper directly. Sikong Yi opened the newspaper, just in time to see a stack of reward orders sandwiched in the newspaper, his eyes lit up, and then he heard the system notification sound. Ding! Achievement mission. The total reward has exceeded 10 million and has been completed, please select the captain characteristic. Option 1. Tigu Dimensional Square. Option 2. Tigu Super Power Squirt. Why? Option 3. Tigu 5 Visions are omnipotent. Ding, achievement mission. Total reward over 100 million has been completed. Please select the captain's characteristic. Option 1. Vector manipulation. Option 2. Mental mastery. Option 3. Atom crash. Tigu dimensional square. Space type, can instantly move the target to the designated position, but consumes a lot of energy. Filled circle Tigu super power spray. Mask type, which can unleash 100% of the potential ability of the wearer. Filled circle Tigu 5 visions. Possess five abilities of whole vision, far vision, perspective vision, hallucination vision and future vision. Vector control. Manipulate the direction of energy and reflect all physical attacks. Filled diamond psychological mastery. Dominate other people's psychology through water in the body, and can activate the ability on multiple people at the same time. Atomic crash. It can release shells that penetrate the cover and the opponent's body together, which is difficult to control. Among the six characteristics, the first three Teju came from Zan Shatong, and the last three came from the magic ban. Sikong Yi didn't expect the surprise to come so suddenly. Without even thinking about it, he directly chose Tigu Dimensional Array and Vector Control. Super jetting can inspire potential, it's a pity that it's a pity that it's tasteless to eat for Sikong Yi. The five sight omnipotent overlaps with his Rene Sharingan in many places, and the knowledge color also has the effect of future vision in the later stage of cultivation, so it is also ruled out. Mental mastery overlaps with Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu, and atomic destruction overlaps with nuclear fruit, so they are all ruled out. Of course, the main reason why Sikong Yi was ruled out so decisively is because Tigu Dimensional Array and Vector Control are quite powerful, far exceeding the other options by a large margin. Otherwise, Sikong Yi will definitely think over and over again before confirming the option. In fact, psychological mastery is also a trait that Sikong Yi values more, and combined with Kyoka Suigetsu, it is bound to be able to play with anyone in the One Piece world in the palm of his hand. But the vector control is too fragrant. After completing the selection, Sikong Yi felt that something changed in his body, but he couldn't detect any changes for a while. So Sikong Yi checked his attribute panel, and his combat power jumped from a plus level to S level. In an instant, Sikong Yi was ecstatic. At this moment, he is equivalent to the bottom combat power in the Shichibukai level, which is the level of K Lock Dar and Gekko Moria. With such strength, he can enter the first half of the Grand Line. Xiao Yi, Xiao Yi. You should read this news first. Marco pad Sikong Yi on the shoulder, and then pointed to the headline of the newspaper. Um, Sikong Yi looked away from the reward order. I saw that the killing of celestial dragons was impressively written on the headlines. And it was Boss who killed the celestial dragons. This happened just yesterday, and the newspaper said that the celestial dragons came to visit the Goa kingdom in order to promote exchanges and trade between countries. However, when the celestial dragons were parading on the street yesterday afternoon, they accidentally saw Buggy's red nose among the kneeling crowd. Celestial dragons thought the red nose was indecent and affected the appearance of the city, so they asked Buggy to take it off. As a result, Buggy was arrogant and arrogant, directly refused, and even threatened celestial dragons with wild words. Celestial dragons resolutely refused to bow to the evil forces, and took out their pistols to kill Buggy, but unfortunately, Buggy killed him. Throughout the text, the content between the lines is full of beautification of celestial dragons. It's all about the Tian, the Zhao, dragon people bravely and fearlessly resisting the evil forces in order to help the Goya kingdom to prosper, even if they are assassinated. Describe this celestial dragons as a hero who dares to fight against evil forces. Seeing these contents, Sikong Yi wanted to laugh. Brave and fearless. I am afraid that those who do not know are fearless. I didn't expect Buggy and the others to cause such a big incident in the Goa kingdom. It's really, well done. Sikong Yi silently gave Buggy a thumbs up. The reason why he left Crow, Buggy, and Alvida in Goa kingdom is to clean up the filth of Goa kingdom, and the second is to assassinate the celestial dragons who are about to visit. To be honest, if it wasn't for worrying that the Ziwei pirates would be implicated, and the Golden Lion captured his partner at the time, he would definitely watch the celestial dragons fall from the altar in Goa kingdom. It's a pity that such a big show was directed by him, but he couldn't watch it. 
Chapter 130 The more you value love and righteousness, the more likely you will turn your face and deny anyone. Put on the shelves to subscribe and ask for flower tickets. Xiao Yi, there is a lot of noise about the killing of celestial dragons, and I'm worried that the marine and world government will implicate us, so we'd better leave the East Blue Waters as soon as possible. Marco saw that Sikong Yi had finished reading the content, so he explained aloud and planned to bring the Ziwei pirates back to New World. Hearing that Marco and the others were going back to New World, Sikong Yi was full of astonishment. He finally found a group of high quality coaches, why did he just leave? Bone voyage. In the end, Sikong Yi replied with a smile. If someone wants to leave, he can't stop him even if he wants to. Huh, aren't you going with us? Marco was slightly taken aback. Three of my partners are lost. They're currently in Shields Town. I have to wait for them to come back. And there are two people in this village that I want to recruit. I will definitely not be able to leave in a short time. Sikong Yi spread his hands, in fact, he had no intention of accompanying Marco and the others to New World, which is known as the Cemetery of Pirates. It's safe to stay in Whitebeard waters, but then they won't get real training. In the original book, Ace is protected too well by Whitebeard. Chasing Teach with passion, but he fell into it, he was finally rescued in the Summit War, but lost his life forever in naval headquarters because of the ten words of Chijitsu. Not only that, but all the efforts of the entire Whitebeard pirates were in vain. Some people may think that such a person who values love and righteousness is worthy of praise, but in fact, emphasizing love and righteousness does not mean that salvation must be a stick. I can't even tell how much I have, and I only care about revenge for a kainu, but in the end it ruins the efforts of a whole boatload of people. Thinking about it, it is really stupid and sad. And Sikong Yi doesn't want his crew to become like Whitebeard's sons, always talking about their father's pride. What's the difference between that and, my dad is so and so? This is also the reason why Sikong Yi does not want to be Whitebeard's son. He appreciates some of Whitebeard's qualities, and is willing to join or cooperate temporarily, but let him go to New World now and accept Whitebeard's blessing, he has 10,000 rejections. Seeing this, Teach grimaced. You don't have to go, but little sister Kaya must come with us, we need her to treat dad. Hearing this, the eyes of the entire Ziwei pirates change, and the air was filled with strong hostility. Marco squinted his eyes, and Sax and Namuel were ready to go. They were not stopping Teach, but warning Ziwei pirates. Obviously, Teach speaks for dad, and they naturally support Teach. As the sea breeze blew gently, Sikong Yi silently sent a message in the group to stay calm, and then stared straight at Teach. The purple eyes without pupils and the three pointed jade eyes brought some pressure to Teach. But Teach doesn't care, as long as the relationship between the two parties is deadlocked, he can take advantage of it. Want to take Kaya away? He, Sikong Yi smiled coldly. On the sea, emphasizing love and righteousness is indeed an advantage. But just like Ace, there is also an unpleasant side. The more people who value love and righteousness, the more they will turn their faces and be ruthless. Because in their eyes, friendship is paramount and interests are secondary. They will sort the people around them according to their kindness. If the two parties encounter disputes, they will be more inclined to the side with deep kindness and deep affection. In the original book, many of Haishu Jinbei's choices are like this. Marine fights with Whitebeard, Jinbei thinks that Whitebeard is better for him, so he decisively backstabs Marine. After the Fishmen Island was assigned to Bigimamu, the Straw Hats fought Bigimamu, and Jinbei decisively backstabbed Bigimamu. Whoever treats him well, he treats whom well, whoever treats him better, he treats whom better. If two people who treat him well fight, he will evaluate who treats him better, and then stand on the side of the person who treats him better. Of course, Jinbei will also apologize to the other party and try his best to reciprocate, after the repayment is completed, he will immediately cut off his debts. Sikong Yi at this moment is just like Marine and Bigimamu back then, I did not fail you, but you failed me first. This is like borrowing money, it is a favor to lend you, and it is a duty not to borrow money. And the current thinking of Marco and others, BEFC, is that if they don't borrow money, they will grab it outright. This is what pirates call Jiri. APJ APJ, I reject. Without any hesitation, Sikong Yi rejected Teach's proposal. Teach who got the answer sneered again and again, knowing that the provocation plan was successful, but before he could speak, he heard Sikong Yi add. Kaya is still young, I don't trust her to go to New World with you, so I take back what I said before and decide to go with you. Teach. Meow meow, didn't you say to wait for your partner to return? Didn't you say you want to recruit new partners? Why did you change your mind and agree now? However, you have to wait for me for half a month. After my partners meet up, I promise to go to New World with you. After Sikong Yi finished speaking, he ignored Teach who was like a clown, and looked directly at Marco, the real speaker. Marco frowned when he heard this, he really didn't want to stay in East Blue at this moment. But since Ziwei pirates compromised, he couldn't forcefully take Kaya away just because he was too afraid of Marine, right? What's more, the Ziwei pirates are highly regarded by the father. If the father knows that he broke his promise for such a trivial matter, he will probably be disappointed with his son. After figuring out the key points, Marco finally took a step back and agreed to Sikong Yi's conditions. Okay, 
Then wait another half, Captain Marco. Teach was a little reconciled. Teach, I noticed that something is wrong with your recent state. Didn't you always try to persuade you to make peace when facing this kind of thing in the past? Why are you so angry now? Marco wondered. Uh, it's nothing. Teach scratched his head in embarrassment and simply skipped the topic. Then what if Marine comes to your door? Teach's words were obviously intended to give Marco a sense of urgency. It's a pity that Marco has made up his mind. It's really troublesome to meet Marine during this period, but it doesn't mean we are afraid of Marine. In a word, hockey is incomparable, directly blocked Teach's small abacus. Teach was completely lost, so in order to maintain his image of a good old man, he didn't continue this topic. Now that we have discussed it, should we continue training? Sikong Yi smiled lightly, without the slightest anger of being forced into the palace just now. This hatred must be avenged, but it is not the time yet. Marco nodded, so everyone started a new round of exercise according to yesterday's grouping. Everyone in the Z-Way pirates held a sigh of relief in their hearts. They knew very well that if there is no strength in this sea, they will have no right to speak. The storm outside was carried by the captain alone, and they enjoyed the captain's protection, so they had no right to say that there was anything wrong with the captain's compromise. If you want not to compromise, try to get dirty, chapter 131 10 days passed in a flash, the initial version of the internet, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Since the Z-Way pirates and the Whitebeard pirates Marco and his party got into a stalemate, the two sides are still harmonious on the surface. But the gap in my heart has already been buried. Everyone in the Z-Way pirates did not explode because they had no strength. While Marco and the others did not make it clear, they obviously took a fancy to Kaya's healing ability. The two sides maintained this relationship and have been training for 10 days. In the past 10 days, all the members of Z-Way pirates have more or less improved a little. Among them, the two little guys, Ace and Sabo, have made the most remarkable progress. They were already holding their breath, and the other crew members were stronger than them, so unwilling to lag behind, they could only chase after them crazily. The combat power soared directly to the D-plus level. Of course, that's not to say the rest of the crew has improved less, it's just that Ace and Sabo are more noticeable. They have dragon-slaying magic, plus top-level devil fruit, and it is normal to progress quickly in the early stage. For 10 days, Luffy mainly honed his fighting skills and two-color hockey under Teach, and has mastered the energy of the corpses devoured in the lion hunting battle, and his combat effectiveness is basically stable. The reason why so many netizens said the words, Luffy, in adversity, in the previous life is probably because Luffy is always easy to be careless in good times, but it is only when he is serious in adversity that he can explode his potential. After this period of training, at least Luffy's fighting power in adversity will not be so erratic. Probably. The rest of the team also gained a lot, but Kaya's fighting power remained at the bottom as always. As the only member of the current 8 Z-Way pirates who has not absorbed devil fruit, it is normal to have a low combat power. Others are either Udemon's devil fruit that enhances physical fitness, or Logia and top-level Paramisha fruits, which do not increase the body at all. Sikong Yi naturally also considered this issue. However, if there is no suitable fruit, we can only give up for the time being. Sikong Yi's progress during this period is also not obvious. Without the help of Venom, he couldn't cultivate his arm color, so Tian Shi could only focus on training his physical fitness and vector control. At present, the development of vector control has reached 5%. As for Tigu Dimensional Phalanx, it will be stored in the system space for the time being, just like Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu. After the day's training, Sikong Yi did not return to the temporary residence of the Orangery with the crew to share dinner, but came to the Emperor Star alone. Because just a few hours ago, Venom created the first internet in the One Piece world. But as soon as Sikong Yi boarded the boat, Kuina followed him. Under the moonlight, on the deck, lonely men and widows enjoy the sea and the full moon together. What's your business? It's okay. Can't I go back to the Emperor Star for a stroll? Kuina lightly brushed her blue hair, revealing one side of her ear. You are a sword addict, obsessed with swords, I don't believe you have the idea of shopping. Call, I'm just curious, what is the captain doing on the Emperor Star at such a late hour? Kuina rolled her eyes and snorted coldly. Although she likes swordsmanship, she has not reached the level of a sword obsessed with swords. The reason why she followed Sikong Yi, Ant Guy just wanted to know if the captain made any big moves. She didn't believe that Sikong Yi would really agree to Marco and the others to go to New World. Kuina, as the first girl to board the asterisk, knows Sikong Yi better than anyone else. When she was in Shimotsuki village, she witnessed a conflict between Sikong Yi and a farmer, and the farmer died on the spot. It is enough to show that Sikong Yi is a captain who will take revenge. The actions of Teach, Marco and others ten days ago obviously made the captain dissatisfied, but the captain did not act for a long time. This made Kuina guess whether the captain had prepared some bombs. So, this afternoon, when I noticed that the captain returned to the Emperor Star without even eating, I knew that the captain must have taken action. After that, she planned to follow over quietly to verify it. I don't have an appetite today, and I'm a little tired, I want to sleep, Sikong Yi said perfunctorily, and then directly lay down on the upper bunk of the double bedroom cabin, where he used to sleep before falling asleep. 
Seeing this, Kuina's mouth twitched slightly. Do you really want to sleep when you say sleep? But she didn't continue to ask the bottom line. The captain didn't want to say, could it be because the Emperor Star was being watched by others? The captain once explained observation hockey, which can make people have extremely terrifying perception abilities, such as sensing meteorites in the sky, reading minds, or predicting the future, all of which are extremely incredible. Asking for flowers. Kuina felt terrified in her heart, so she complained quietly. TCH, I thought you were planning to go to the Emperor Star to eat alone, it's boring. After speaking, she left directly. Sikong Yi, who was lying on the bed, slightly curved his mouth. Unexpectedly, without reminding, Kuina still analyzed the whole story, it seems that his mind is turning quickly. Since ten days ago, Sikong Yi has seen someone stalking through his eyes, and that person is Marco's group. Obviously these guys were worried that he would sneak away with the crew, so they not only stared at the temporary residence of the Orangery at night, but even the Emperor Star was under surveillance. Therefore, Sikong Yi has been training honestly during this time, and has never been exposed. Venom, tell me about the internet you created in the past ten days. Even lying on the bed, Tong Kongye can still order Venom. Master, the basic framework of the internet has been built, and the global network of minds can be implemented, but because the functions are not yet perfect, there are only basic addition functions and communication functions. Venom slowly explained to Sikong Yi. Add function, as the name suggests, is the function of adding new users, which can pull everyone in the world into the internet. The communication function is the function for each internet user to communicate one to one, one to many, and many to many. However, the communication function only supports text input for the time being, but cannot carry out voice input or image input. To be honest, such an internet can be described as extremely crude. Can you pull people from all over the world into the internet now? Will pulling them all in at once cause your mind to collapse? Sikong Yi asked a key question. After Venom was silent for a minute, Kaido, it's not a problem to pull the whole world in at once, but the internet will freeze, and it may even crash. 5. In other words, if there is too much information to process, will Shania become an idiot? At that time, is it necessary to find Kaya to restart the server? In this case, let's set up a forum app first, and then create a subsection of the East Blue area in it. After the settings are complete, Venom, you will first pull the entire East Blue people into the internet. Chapter 132 Beto Internet, Phenomenon Level Comic High Fat King. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Receive. After taking the lead, Venom began to edit the code in his mind. In just three minutes, a forum app was released. It includes six districts including East Blue District, South Blue District, West Blue District, North Blue District, Paradise and New World. Except for the East Blue area which is pending opening, the rest are closed. Seeing the establishment of the forum app, Sikong Yi asked Venom to create an account app to log into the internet world. In order to ensure the independence and security of the internet world account, it is necessary to scan and confirm the user's real name, face and fingerprint before becoming an internet user. Of course, this information can only be seen by Venom himself, and users can still use their screen names, or not display their avatars. To enter the real name, the user needs to input it by himself. Scanning the face and fingerprint is an added function with the attribute of, 290, which is only for the user. In fact, the current internet cannot perform functions such as taking pictures and recording videos. After completing two software developments, Tom Konye explained a few more words. Venom, you pull people as soon as the morning comes. Remember, there is no need to force people to enter the internet, everything is voluntary. You can first edit a profile and related online contracts, plant them in everyone's minds, and ask them if they are willing to open the internet world. If you want, you can open it for free, if you don't want to, you can only purchase the qualification to access the internet through other channels in the future. Sikong Yi does not intend to buy or sell by force. In the world of One Piece, he has only one piece of the internet, and he will definitely be popular in the future. Therefore, from the very beginning, he will standardize, rationalize and legalize the internet. No problem, master. By the way, Venom, you can put a post on the homepage of the forum app. Sikong Yi explained a lot of precautions, Venom completed, and the time soon came to the early hours of the morning. Seeing that it was almost perfect, Sikong Yi didn't make any other requests, but let the Venom pinpoint the timing to pull people. When it arrived on time at midnight, Venom had a thought, and countless invisible signals spread throughout the entire East Blue Sea area. Goa Kingdom, in a certain office. Garp is sitting at his desk at the moment reviewing the documents, all of which are related to the recent assassination of the royal nobles of King Goa. That old guy Sengoku is really abominable, he actually left the mess of the Goa kingdom to this old man. And that red-nosed buggy, who used to be quite honest on the Luojia boat, dares to kill the celestial dragons now. But buggy did a great job ha ha ha. Garp laughed to himself as he spoke, then tossed the file aside. After going through most of the files, he found that buggy's gang were all dealing with royal nobles with lives at their hands. Garp wanted all these disgusting guys dead, so he didn't plan to capture Buggy at all. These days he either patrols the streets, or hides in his office pretending to look through documents, but is actually lazy. Picking his nostrils, Garp looked out the window at the bright moonlight, thinking of his grandson. 
I don't know if Luffy and the others have left East Blue. If Kuzan and Bluzolino come to support, I'm afraid it will be difficult. Garp knows that only he, Sengoku and Suru know about his agreement with the Ziwe Pirates. They will not deliberately arrange for people to arrest the Ziwe Pirates, but if the Ziwe Pirates run into Vice Admiral or Admiral, then they can only blame the Ziwe Pirates for their bad luck. At this moment, Impu noticed a light screen suddenly appeared in his mind. Hello, dear user. Beto Internet sincerely invites you to join this platform. Garp noticed the bold and black characters at the top of the light screen for the first time, and with curiosity, he continued to look down. Open black lens bracket Do you want to chat with relatives and friends thousands of miles away? Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Do you want to communicate with people all over the world on the same platform? Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Do you want to see a different and wonderful scenery in this world? Close black lens bracket. These three questions really caught Garp's attention. Chatting with relatives and friends thousands of miles away, this phone bug can do it, but what does it mean for everyone in the world to communicate on the same stage? Is such a thing possible? Garp continued to look down. Open black lens bracket What are you waiting for? Hurry up and click the registration button below to register your identity. Just register your identity information, and you will be able to obtain the right to log in to Beto Internet for free, close black lens bracket. Below this sentence, there is a document called, Instructions for Logging onto the Internet. Garp uses his mind to manipulate an arrow, clicks on it and finds that there are more than 70 pages of content, and exits instantly. He saw that those letters were all big. Below the file, there are two options. One is the, register, button, and the other is the, give up, button. There is a line of relatively small words under the, give up, button. Those who choose to give up, I wish you to go to the latrine and fall into the cesspit. Garp. My mother, is there anyone who curses people like that? Sweeping his gaze towards open black lens bracket registration close black lens bracket, Garp clicks the button directly. Although he doesn't care about this non-existent curse mode, he is still more curious about what this Beto internet is. That's right, he was just curious, not afraid of the curse. After entering, Garp found that the light screen in his mind was projected from the eyes into the air, and then a red light was projected from the light screen, scanning Garp's face and hands. Then, several lines of information were displayed on the light screen. Open black lens bracket face scan completed. Close black lens bracket open black lens bracket fingerprint scanning completed. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket please enter your real name. Close black lens bracket seeing this, Garp entered the name without thinking. In the world of One Piece, there has never been anything like the internet, so the awareness of network prevention is not very strong. And Garp doesn't feel the need to hide his name. The next moment, the light screen flickered slightly and changed into a screen similar to a computer desktop. You could see two icons in the upper left corner of the screen. Open black lens bracket account app close black lens bracket open black lens bracket forum app close black lens bracket Garp clicked into the account and found that his avatar and name appeared in it, and there were a series of content such as 1.6 online banking, VIP level and so on. After reading, Garp left the account interface and then clicked into the forum. I found that it was empty, except for a post at the top. At 7 o'clock on the first day, this forum will launch the phenomenon level comic, see Fat King, 1. Fat King? What the hell is this again? At this moment, not only Garp was confused, but the rest of the people who clicked in were also confused. But soon, many people have figured out how to use the forum through the novice guide, and then tried to start posting. Many posts are disorganized and have no useful content. In this regard, Sikong Yi, who has been receiving information through Venom feedback on the Emperor Star, did not order these useless posts to be banned. Chapter 133 Marco reads comics, teaches about to cool down, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Sikong Yi intends to let these new users have a good experience first, and then arrange people to monitor the water injection posts in the forum. After all, many people don't know the detailed rules for posting, and there are no nutrition posts worth browsing, so they can only let them post randomly. Afterwards, Sikong Yi ordered Venom to start drawing cartoons of High Fat King. Currently, the internet created by Venom does not support image functions, but as long as the text is reduced and arranged in a certain order, black and white images can be pieced together. And Venom is using this method at the moment. Venom, how many words can be updated before 7 o'clock in the morning? Master, if each episode guarantees 20 pages, I can draw up to 3 episodes in the morning. Well, 3 words are enough, as long as you draw that scene, I believe that Guy Teach will definitely become a public enemy. He he he. Sikong Yi laughed wildly in his heart. After dealing with everything, Sikong Yi fell into a deep sleep, 14. The next day, the east bank of Kokoyasi village. When Marco got up early, he wanted to open the Beidou internet interface. Last night, he also saw the light screen, and clicked to register out of curiosity, and communicated with some people in the forum. Overall, this so-called internet is really interesting. Because of this, he was very curious about the post that was always at the top, and he heard that he could read this comic called, Sea Fat King at 7 o'clock in the morning. 
So he directly clicked into the post on the top of the forum app, and sure enough, he saw the Fat King manga that had been updated for three episodes. Marco turned to the first page of the first chapter, which was the scene where the Golden Lion floated and landed on Sky Island, and then he saw his group appear in the comics. Huh? Why is there me in this comic? This scene puzzled Marco, so he continued to look down. Luffy fell from the sky and just landed on their pirate ship. After the introduction, Luffy pointed at Teach's nose and yelled, Black Fatty. Peefed. Marco smiled unkindly when he saw this scene. The subsequent plot was not previewed according to the actual situation. After they sent Luffy to Kokoyasi Village, they left East Blue. They sailed on the Grand Line and were about to return to New World, but Sachi picked up a dark purple devil fruit by luck. Sage showed off in front of everyone and held a big banquet, but Teach came to the door when Sage returned to the room drunk, and escaped from the pirate ship after killing people and taking the fruit. Marco frowned when he saw this. Who is framing Teach? As the deputy captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, he has known Teach for more than 10 years, and he does not believe that Teach is such a person. Obviously, someone is slandering Teach and trying to provoke their relationship within the Whitebeard Pirates. However, when he saw what Teach muttered to himself after fleeing, he couldn't be sure for a while whether the comics were true or not. In the comics, Teach fled to an unnamed island, holding a dark purple devil fruit in his hands and muttering to himself. Thief ha ha ha, I finally got the legendary dark fruit. I heard that the captain of the Z-Way pirates possessed dark fruit, so I traveled thousands of miles to East Blue, but it turned out that the Brad didn't eat dark fruit, which caused me to make a trip for nothing. Fortunately, I found dark fruit when I was returning to the voyage. With this fruit, I will definitely become the king of pirates, ha ha ha. Seeing this, the content of the first chapter is completely over, but Marco's face completely sank. During this time, Marco also noticed that Teach seemed to feel sorry that Sikong Yi was not dark fruit. Perhaps it was true, as the comics said, that the purpose of Teach coming to East Blue this time was dark fruit. But why, why did Teach in the comic want to kill Sage? Could it be that he kindly begged Sachi for the dark fruit? I believe Sachi would not refuse Teach. Regardless of whether Teach is really malicious or someone deliberately discredits Teach, this matter is not as simple as it seems. One mistake, and their entire Whitebeard pirate group will be cracked. Marco took a deep breath, faced the rising sun, and looked at Fatty High's second chapter. At the beginning of the second chapter, the news reported Teach's betrayal of the Whitebeard pirates. Marco informed Whitebeard of the incident through a phone bug. Whitebeard was furious. Marco threatened to arrest Teach himself, and Whitebeard agreed after thinking about it. After hanging up the phone, the red hair suddenly visited Whitebeard at this time, and advised Whitebeard not to let Marco chase Teach. He also said that the wound on his face was scratched by Teach. However Whitebeard refused. As soon as the screen changed, Teach gradually became famous as a black fat man on the sea, and recruited a group of partners on the sea. Marco soon finds Teach, wanting to avenge Sarge, but unfortunately he is caught by Teach. I'm so weak, Marco couldn't believe that he was no match for Teach. What made him feel even more unbelievable was that the dark fruit could actually nullify the ability user, it was simply terrifying. No wonder Teach killed his companions for this devil fruit. At this moment, Marco has unknowingly substituted the things in the comics into reality, and he has doubts about Teach's betrayal to half-belief. However, he suppressed his emotions and continued to browse the comics. After Teach led the crowd to overthrow Gekko Moria, one of the Shichibukai, he gave Marco to Marine in exchange for the title of Shichibukai. Then came the third chapter, Whitebeard learned that Marco was about to execute 060 in naval headquarters, and led the crowd from New World to Marineford. Most of the third chapter is mostly used to describe the scene before the war, so there is not much content. After reading it, Marco has completely doubted going to teach. Without him, whether it was teach running to East Blue for no reason, or the red-haired guy's high degree of caution towards teach, it was enough to show that there was something wrong with teach. But as a brother, he is still more willing to believe that the contents of the comics are fake. So, he directly woke up Teach Sax and Amir. Captain, what's the matter? You woke us up on purpose. Sage was puzzled. Did you sign up for the Beidou internet yesterday? Marco asked the three of them. The three nodded in unison. The main reason is that the option to give up is too disgusting, and they are all fearless pirates. No matter whether the registration is risky or not, they will try it. Now you open the, Sea Fat King, comic in the top post of the forum. After reading it, I want to know what you think of this comic. After Marco finished speaking, he stood aside silently, but his eyes glanced at Teach's direction intentionally or unintentionally. Teach was puzzled for a while, and then began to browse the comics, but only saw the first page, and his face darkened. Where did this comic come from, it's also black and white, I'm a black fat man. Chapter 134 Comics Revealed, Teach can't explain it clearly, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 14 Kun by G Bu Sheng Dian Now 14 EP 0049 TUD 13 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Chi Windows 11 Jia Yang Ban 14 inches. Dui Zhao. Quan Gao Ching Shi An Shi. Teach hated the word, black fat man, to the point of ultimate, with a dark face, he looked at Marco who recommended the manga to him. Captain Marco, 
What do you mean by showing me this? Continue to look back. Marco didn't explain too much. Teach was a little depressed, and continued to turn backwards, but when he saw that Sage had picked up the dark fruit, he suddenly lost his composure. Continued to turn back, when Teach saw that he killed Sarge and snatched the dark fruit, he couldn't help but jump in his heart. WTF? I actually killed Sarge? Teach opened his mouth wide and stared blankly at Sage. At this moment, Sage also saw the scene of himself being killed in the comic, and turned his head to look at Teach as well. Both of them are a little confused, the next moment, Teach quickly waved his hand. I didn't, how could I kill my own brother? This cartoonist must be framing me. For Teach's explanation, Sachi instinctively wanted to believe it. After all, he and Teach have been friends for more than 10 years, and the relationship is not ordinary. Patting Teach on the shoulder, Sax showed a warm smile on his face. Teach, of course I believe that you will not murder your siblings for an unknown fruit. This cartoonist is too hateful, and he clearly deliberately provoked the relationship between our brothers. Teach nodded repeatedly, and followed Sax to denounce the bad behavior of cartoonists. Marco interrupted the two of them and motioned them to continue looking down. Both Teach and Sack had puzzled expressions about this. How could such an honest person like Teach kill his own brother? Isn't this manga clearly fooling people? Sage was speechless, and continued to look down. At the end of the first chapter, Teach's confession, Vice Admiral, his purpose of coming to East Blue and the name of the fruit burst out. For a moment, Saki's mind roared. There was a slight vigilance in the eyes looking at Teach. It turned out that the fruit was called Dark Fruit, and Teach came to East Blue for the purpose of Dark Fruit. No wonder Teach was so surprised and disappointed when Sikong Yi introduced himself not as Dark Fruit but as Venom Fruit. It turned out that I had been thinking about planting Dark Fruit early in the morning. Teach, if you really want Dark Fruit, tell me directly, Sack stared at Teach in disbelief, with heartache and loss mixed in his eyes. Comics are combined with reality, and there are verifiable places everywhere, which shows that things in comics will happen 9 out of 10. His most trusted friend stabbed him for every fruit. How can this make him calm, I, I, I? Teach was also a little flustered at the moment. These are all slanders, Teach, you actually captured Marco in exchange for Shichibukai's position? At this moment, Namir, who was watching faster, couldn't help exclaiming. She was completely dumbfounded when he heard that there were still black content in the comics. So he quickly flipped through the comics in his mind, and he saw that his wounding the red hair was exposed, and in the future he even led the entire Whitebeard pirate group to Marineford. All these crimes are too heavy for Teach who has not done anything, and it can even be said to be wronged. After all, he hasn't done anything yet. This is a false accusation. Someone wants to tear up our Whitebeard pirates. It's a setup deliberately, Teach roared. I know. This must be done by the Z-Way pirates. Only they know my codename, Fatty Black, and only they will give me a codename like Fatty Black. As if he had found a clue, Teach quickly explained to Marco and the captain. Sax and Namuel felt that this explanation was reasonable, but Marco still had doubts about Teach. As a think tank, he found several unreasonable things. The codename Black Fatty is indeed only known to the four of us and the Z-Way pirates, but they probably don't know about the red hair scratching you? Marco asked. This. Must have been told by the red-haired guy. The straw hat on Luffy's head was the one that the red-haired had worn before, which means that they met before and their relationship is still very unusual. Teach wiped the sweat from his brow, trying to smooth things over. Then how do you explain the detailed names and appearances of the Whitebeard pirates in the comics? It's not like the red hair told them? Marco continued to question. In this regard, Teach was completely speechless. I wanted to blackmail the Z-Way pirates, but I didn't expect to lead myself into the pit. He quickly defended. Captain Marco's analysis is reasonable, so it seems that the Z-Way pirates did not do it. This is very likely a conspiracy laid by that old fellow Sengoku. Teach once again blamed others, and Marco and others fell silent when they heard the words, but surprisingly, they didn't embarrass Teach anymore. The truth is still unknown, and it may still happen in the future, so they will naturally not get to the bottom of it. The most important thing is that it is impossible to accurately determine whether the future described by cartoonists is true or not. We must know that many comics will actually combine reality and carry out a certain degree of false fabrication, so even those seemingly reasonable confirmations before may be a kind of camouflage. The four of them jumped off the boat silently and came to the beach on the east bank. Quietly waiting for Sikong Yi and his party to arrive, but this time, they waited for an hour. Looking at Sikong Yi and the others who came an hour later than before, Marco looked unhappy. Is this the so-called attitude of seeking scholars? Before Marco could admonish him, Sikong Yi blocked the former's words. I'm really sorry, Captain Ma. A thing called Beidou Internet suddenly popped up in our minds in the early hours of last night. Because of curiosity, we didn't sleep well all night. In fact, Luffy and others did not sleep well yesterday because of the internet. They all ran to the posts, or posted, or replied, until the two main points were eliminated one after another. This morning, Luffy and the others became even more wary of teachers, the Zhao Zhao, after seeing the cartoon High Fat King, and some of them didn't even plan to continue training. As a last resort, Sikong Yi could only personally enlighten those who abandoned the training, which delayed until now. 
Sikong Yi did not tell the crew that the internet was related to him, and the crew did not think about him. The secret of the fruit of the internet is best kept hidden. By the way, Captain Ma, we woke up early in the morning and read the comics. I didn't expect that there would be a black-hearted guy in your pirate group. Seeing that Marco was still stern, Sikong Yi simply changed the subject and pointed the finger at Yi. That's slander. Teach denied it. Who knows? Sikong Yi shrugged. No mind journal to argue with Teach. After the comic was released, Teach was doomed. P.S. In the past few days, something has happened in reality, and there have been few updates. I would like to express my apologies to all readers. P.S. On the 21st, I will officially write a book full time, with more than 10,000 words per day. Chapter 135 Injure the Enemy 1000 and Self Injure 800, The Hidden Hole Card. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 14 Kun by G Bu Sheng Dian now 14 EP 0049 TU. HP HK. 6 Hong Kong Dollars. 499 D13 Die Intel Core i5 Chu Li Chi Windows 11. This is only the first day, and tomorrow Venom will be able to draw the entire Summit War content, and it will also reveal Teach's more schemes. I believe that within a few days, Fatty Hay will completely fall into a crisis of trust. After all, many people in this world hold the attitude of, I'd rather believe something than nothing, and it is precisely because of this that such things as rumors are born. The internet is the fastest way to spread rumors. In addition, the entire Beidou internet is now dominated by his family, and when the time comes, a little bit of control will be the top, and Teach's true colors will be exposed little by little, and Teach will definitely be forced to become a street rat. Although this method is a bit low-handed, it does not violate his principle of using violence to control violence. Since Teach loves to show off his intrigue, he's going to fight an eye for an eye. Xiao Yi, how long will it take for your partner to arrive at Kokoyasi village, we are going to return to New World right away. Marco asked Sikong Yi, ever since he learned that Buggy killed Celestial Dragons 10 days ago, he had a little worry in his heart. Yesterday Yi Lingchen's sudden appearance of the Beidou internet and the comics that seemed to be prophesied made Marco even more uneasy. It's all too weird. Most importantly, he wants to go to the Grand Line immediately to verify whether the comic called, The King of Sifat, can really predict. Leaving in such a hurry? Aren't you 120 afraid that the prophecy will come true? Sikong Yi was extremely surprised. He originally thought that after the prophecy of Fatty King High's comics, Marco and the others would delay their return time, but he didn't expect the other party to advance five days. I want to verify the authenticity of the comics, Marco explained. These words startled Sax, and he hugged Marco's thigh and cried on the spot, My dear Captain Marco, I am still young, and I don't want to sacrifice my life to verify the prophecy. Don't think too much, I just want to verify whether I can find that dark fruit. Marco kicked Sax away, stared down at the snot on his trouser legs, and his head was covered with black lines. Seeing that Marco was about to leave East Blue, Teach nodded again and again, Captain Marco is right, I, Teach, must prove my innocence. Shout, I think you're here to snatch the dark fruit? Sabo saw through Teach's tricks at a glance. Number 6. People are tough, boy, no way, I just want to prove my innocence. As for the dark fruit, it looks very powerful from the comics, but am I teaching someone who betrayed his companions for a dark fruit, BEFD? The crew members of Z-Way Pirates nodded subconsciously. Teach. This group of damned brats, since he met the Z-Way Pirates, he has never been happy. Look at him in the comics, the thief's wanton and laughter should be his main theme. But now, he has already forgotten when was the last time he laughed so recklessly. Okay, let's put aside the things in the comics for now. Xiao Yi, we have to go this time, either you go with us, or I will take Kaya to New World first. Marco's tone was relatively calm, but he gave an ultimatum. Either go together, or let Kaya follow each other. Obviously, the importance of Kaya has reached the level that brothers can turn against each other. As long as Sikong Yi refuses Marco and others, he will become a truly vicious big pirate. Every time this issue is brought up, the two sides will become tense. All eyes were on Sikong Yi, Marco and others hoped that he would agree, and everyone in Z-Way Pirates hoped that their captain would refuse. Because no matter how they choose, they will inevitably be separated from their partners, which is what they don't want to see. Sikong Yi frowned, and suddenly realized that uploading cartoons of Fatty King High was a bad strategy to hurt the enemy 1000 and self-defeating 800. Although Teach was tricked by him, he himself was caught in a dilemma. Finally, Sikong Yi nodded. Then let's go together, but my partners and I need to go to the village to buy a batch of supplies. Otherwise we may not be able to enter the Grand Line. Seeing that Sikong Yi wanted to delay for another day, Marco frowned, but finally agreed, he couldn't even give him time to prepare supplies. Okay, gather here tomorrow morning. After Marco finished speaking, he returned to the boat. Sikong Yi and others also returned to their temporary residence in the Orangery. Everyone stood in the front yard, looking silently at Sikong Yi's back. From the bottom of their hearts, they didn't like the captain's forbearance against the Whitebeard pirates during this time. Especially Luffy, as the person who yearns for freedom the most, feels very uncomfortable with this kind of compromise and forbearance that goes against his will. 
From the beginning with Sikong Yi, he has been happy all the way, whether it is facing Shanks, Koshiro, Drago or Garp, their Ziwei pirates have never been so aggrieved. But although Luffy is a bit stupid, he also knows that the captain is doing it for their own good. What's more, Marco and the others were brought here by him. From a certain point of view, he was the one who implicated the entire Ziwei pirates, and it was he who made the captain have to compromise with the giant Whitebeard pirates. If at this time, Luffy was the first to jump out and accuse the captain, even he would look down on his unreasonable trouble. The rest of the crew members have their own thoughts, but everyone feels that a more rational and honest captain will lead everyone to the end. Therefore, none of them said anything, it's just, they're still somewhat aggrieved in their hearts. What Marco said clearly meant that they should either separate from Zoro or Kaya, so how could they agree? Captain, we. Okay, no need to persuade me, I've made up my mind to go. Sikong Yi said something coldly, and then sent a message in the group. Group leader. If you have anything to say, everyone can say it in the group, don't make a sound, be careful that the walls have ears. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Sabo. Captain, do you really plan to go to the new world with Marco and the others? Close black lens bracket. Group leader. Damn it, Nami Nokugao hasn't recruited yet, Zoro hasn't returned yet, and Kebi and Tashigi haven't officially boarded the ship yet. I plan to go to Rog Town to recruit a companion, and I'll find the sea restaurant Bara by the way. T, Dragon Pirates. Sikong Yi said a lot of his plans, in short, he didn't plan to go to the Grand Line so early at all. Not to mention Pirate Graveyard New World. Open black lens bracket all members, close black lens bracket. All of a sudden, the entire Ziwei pirates were stunned. Captain what does this mean? Open black lens bracket Karina. Could it be that the captain has already thought of a way to get rid of Marco and the others? Close black lens bracket. Group leader. There is indeed a method, but I didn't want to use it very much before, but since Marco is aggressive, it seems that I have to use it this time if I don't use it. Close black lens bracket. Chapter 136 Choose one of the two whole cards. Both sides are acting. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. When the crew members heard that their captain still had a whole card, they couldn't help being overjoyed, and Luffy was so excited that he jumped three feet high. Group leader. You all keep a low profile, so as not to be noticed. Close black lens bracket. Unbeknownst to Marco and others, Sikong Yi has white eyes and can see through. They also don't know that since Venom has mastered the color of knowledge and the fruit of networking, coupled with its own original sense of crisis, it can also detect that someone is watching. Therefore, Saki, who was hiding far away from the Orange Grove at this moment, did not know that he had already been exposed to the eyes of Sikong Yi and Venom. Hum. Luffy quickly covered her mouth and stood there cautiously. Open black lens bracket Luffy. Captain, what is your solution? Close black lens bracket open black lens bracket Kuina. I'm also very curious about how the captain escaped under the surveillance of Marco and the others, and we have to recruit Nami and Nuo Kagao, which is not an ordinary difficulty. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Zoro. What are you talking about? Why can't I hear, understand? Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket ace. Shut up, Zoro, hurry up, captain tell me what to do. Close black lens bracket. Seeing that everyone was full of curiosity, Sikong Yi smiled and walked straight into the living room made of gold, and I sat down on a gold chair. Facing the crew, Sikong Yi couldn't help recalling the moment when he saw the reward order 10 days ago. In fact, at that time, he not only completed two achievement tasks related to the general reward, but also successfully completed the main task. Ding. The main task. Fledgling has been completed. Please choose the hull upgrade. Option 1. Steam screwboat. Option 2. Electric screwboats. Option 3. Electric submarines. Among the three options, the first one was directly ruled out by Sikong Yi. Both the second and third items have electric power systems, but one is a screwboat that retains the treadmill type manpower, while the other is a pure electric submarine. At first Sikong Yi was more optimistic about the second item, but then when he thought of the existence of Marco and others, the third item might play an unexpected role. However, in order not to be noticed by Marco and the others about the abnormality of the Emperor Star, Sikong Yi did not rush to upgrade the Emperor Star, but kept this option until now. Seeing that the crew members were waiting a little impatiently, Sikong Yi immediately explained in the group, saying that it was an explanation, but in fact it was no different from fooling around. Group Leader you should know that I am originally a dark fruit ability user, and my fruit ability can strengthen abilities and items. I can now strengthen the Emperor Star into a submarine, and then we can escape from the water. Close black lens bracket. In fact, what Sikong Yi said was just one of the trump cards, mainly to let the crew have a psychological preparation for the next changes on the Emperor Star. In fact, he still has a lion fruit he took from the golden lion's body on hand, and after taking it, he can lift the Emperor Star into the sky. It's a pity that Sikong Yi can fly by himself, and lion fruit is a bit tasteless to him. And the way to make the ship fly is not limited to lion fruit. After he goes to Sky Island to find the blueprint of the Ark proverb, he can build a floating ship powered by electricity. Wouldn't it be great to give the thunder fruit to Nami at that time, and let Nami control the Emperor Star? 
Open black lens bracket Usopp. Captain. Namuel the Murloc can swim, can we escape? Close black lens bracket. Hearing Usopp's question, Sikong Yi's mouth twitched. Of course, he had considered the swimming ability of the Murloc Namuel before, and even the flying ability of the Phoenix Marco. This is why Sikong Yi finally decided to take the sea route instead of the air route. An electric submarine has its own set of power generation equipment and power storage equipment. As long as the power is sufficient, the speed can reach the standard speed of many submarines in the previous life. As long as you recruit Nami, you don't have to worry about running out of power. But the speed of lion fruit is a bit worrying, especially not long after taking it, it may not even be able to float the Emperor Star. This is also the gap between Logia and Paramisha Devil Fruit. Logia can quickly master elemental abilities. Paramisha needs to be down to earth and step forward step by step. Group owner. As long as the power is sufficient, the speed of the submarine is beyond your imagination, and I still have a Thunderfruit on hand, as long as I recruit Nami, I don't have to worry about the power problem at all. Close black lens bracket. In fact, Sikong Yi did not tell other friends that his nuclear energy fruit can also replace electricity to a certain extent, and it can also reach the level of unlimited energy. It's just that the normal operation of the Beidou internet requires a lot of mental power, and the nuclear energy fruit is used by the venom to replenish mental power, and there is no remaining energy for other uses for the time being. In other words, Sikong Yi has now turned back to the original boy who lacked mana, let alone converting nuclear energy into electricity. Asking for flowers. It's too extravagant. Open black lens bracket ace. Thunder fruit. Does the name mean the same type of Lobia devil fruit as my Mara Mara fruit? Close black lens bracket. Group leader. That's right, but outside you don't say it's Mara Mara fruit, just say it's the flame dragon fruit of the phantom beast species. I want to let people all over the world know that our Ziwei pirates have a group of phantom beasts kind. Close black lens bracket. After Sikong Yi finished talking about some secret things in the group, he directly opened his mouth to arrange tasks. Kuina, Karina, Kaya and Makino, you are responsible for purchasing grain, vegetables, fruits and meat in the village. Luffy, Usopp, Ace, and Sabo, you will follow Kuina and be responsible for transporting the supplies here. Asterisk 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 pochi, you guard the house. After the explanation, the little friends immediately went to the center of the village, while Boki called out, and then came to the front yard to stand guard. In the distance, Saki noticed that the Ziwe pirates had been silent for a long time, and then Sikong Yi suddenly started arranging tasks, and then everyone dispersed, making Saki feel confused. So, while following Sikong Yi who left alone after parting with the crew, Thatch took out the phone bug to contact Marco. Boo 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 boo. Hey, Sage, why are you calling me so fast? I was talking to my dad just now. I told my dad about the contents of the comic. Dad said he doesn't believe in comics, but I don't really believe it either, believe. Marco received a call from Sage, and subconsciously talked about his father with Sage. After the conversation was almost done, Marco asked Sage why he called. Captain Marco, just now I discovered a very strange scene of the Ziwe pirates. Saki recounted what he had seen and heard before. Marco immediately sensed something was wrong, and suddenly realized. They're probably using the internet for some kind of communication. Just watch it, I doubt they'll do anything. Okay, Captain Marco. After hanging up the phone, Sax followed Sikong Yi more seriously. After not following for a long time, Saki discovered that Sikong Yi had come to the backyard of Bel Mel's house, and found Bel Mel and sister Nuokagao, and the two seemed to be talking about something. Chapter 137 Playing hard to get, the real usage of the dimensional phalanx, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 15.6 Kun Bai Ji Bu Xing Dian Now 15 FD 0068 TUD 13 Dai Intel Core i7 Chu Li Qi Windows 11 Jia Yang Band 15.6 inches, Dui Zhao, Quan. On the other side, Sikong came to the backyard of Bell's house alone. Although he knew that Saki was following him at the moment, he didn't know that Saki had raised his vigilance against him again. If Sikong Yi knew, he probably wouldn't take it to heart. Because he has long seen through the common faults of the Whitebeard pirates. He is like the man who is about to receive a marriage certificate. At this time, the mother-in-law asks for a high price gift, but the woman is on the side of the mother. People in the Whitebeard Pirates generally value love and justice rather than justice. Each of them only talks about love and justice, and never makes sense. He trusts his own people in every possible way, but he is extremely vigilant when dealing with outsiders. In the original book, when Ace was chasing Teach, the redhead kindly reminded Whitebeard to be careful about Teach, but Whitebeard didn't listen at all, and ended up suffering the consequences. What are you doing here again? The sky was clear and clear, Bell was drying clothes between two orange trees in the backyard, when he saw Sikong Yi coming, he immediately got angry. These days, Sikong Yi has been here several times, it's all about recruiting, and Bell Mel will naturally not agree. Not only did she not agree, she also chased Sikong Yi five or six streets with a broom several times, threatening to beat Sikong Yi until he couldn't stand up. The final result is naturally that Bell Mel was too tired to stand up on February 17th. 
Later, Bel Mel also learned to be smart, as long as he refused. Anyway, the Ziwe pirates were different from other pirates, and they would not buy or sell by force. Tell me in advance, if you want to recruit my daughters, I advise you to give up this idea as soon as possible, I will not agree. After drying the last piece of clothing, Bell stood in front of Nuokagao and Nami with his arms akimbo, glaring at Sikong Yi viciously, with a useless expression. As a former marine, she has her own bottom line and will never let her daughter become a pirate. That's right, we won't agree. Nuokagao, who was wearing suspender jeans, imitated Bell Mel and said with her hips on her hips. The next moment, she was hit by Bell Mel. Ouch! You don't learn well at a young age, Bell Mel taught. Standing beside Nuokagao, Nami in orange short sleeves said nothing. She was very curious about Ziwe pirates and wanted to go to sea, but it was a pity that Bell Mel disagreed. In the end, Nami had nothing to do with it. Seeing that Bell Mel is still as strong as a tigress, Sikong Yi is a little helpless. In the original book, Nami's character may be learned from Bell Mel. I didn't come today to recruit Nokagao and Nami. Huh? Bell was taken aback. Then why are you here? We are leaving tomorrow, so I came here to say goodbye to you. Tong Kongye seemed a little depressed. Nami, you are the best navigator in my opinion. Your unique sense of weather is many times stronger than other navigators. For you, I even worked hard to find thunderfruit, which is worth at least a billion baileys. Logia top devil fruit. As he spoke, Sikong Yi took out the thunderfruit light and gave Nami a look, and saw countless little stars blooming in Nami's eyes. Then Sikong Yi put the fruits into the system, and said with regret, It's a pity, it's a pity, Nami, I'm leaving tomorrow, but I still haven't recruited you. I can only save the fruits for the fateful people I meet in the future. After hearing this, Nami's face was full of reluctance. Of course, she was not reluctant to part with Sikong Yi, but rather to use thunderfruit worth at least one billion baileys. Nuokagao, I know that you don't have a strong idea of going to sea to become a pirate, and you don't have a dream that you have to go to sea to fulfill. You should know Kaya, right? I was thinking that if you could join the Ziwe pirates, I would ask Kaya to help Sister Bay cure her illness. Longevity is not a problem, it's a pity, a pity. After Sikong Yi finished speaking, he turned around slowly, and left the backyard of Bel Mel's house sadly, his desolate back pierced into the eyes of Nami and Nuo Kagao. Bel was stunned for a moment, and then became furious. Sikong Yi, don't fool my daughter with this kind of playing hard to get, there is an old lady who will say, they won't agree to board your boat, my precious daughter can't be taken away by anyone. After a roar, Bell took Nami and Nuokagao to the center of the village, and the destination was her old friend's house. Obviously, Bell Mel was worried that Nami and Nuokagao would not be able to withstand the temptation, so he planned to ask Ajian to help look after the children, just in case. After leaving the sight of Bell and Mel and others, Sikong Yi's desolate, lonely and sad atmosphere disappeared without a trace, and he turned back to the high-spirited young man he used to be. Hey, I can't convince the old ones, can I fool the young ones? Unfortunately, Arlong and the others haven't come to Kokoyasi village yet, and Colonel Mouse, who was released earlier, hasn't come to make trouble. It's a pity that these two experience packs can be used to gain favorability. Returning to the temporary residence, Sikong Yi was also speechless when he sensed that pair of eyes in the dark were always staring at him. He ignored it, went straight into the living room, sat cross-legged on a chair, closed his eyes and meditated. Mind sank into the main fleet. Open black lens bracket group leader. At Zoro, where are you now? Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Zoro. We were attacked by pirates on the way to the boat. After a beating, they are now our navigators and handymen, and they are rushing towards Kokoyasi village. Close black lens bracket. Group leader. Turn around, you go to Rog Town and wait for me first. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Zoro. Huh? But it's been two days since we left Rog Town. Close black lens bracket. Sikong Yi. Hey guys, you guys went to Rog again? Group leader. At Zoro, didn't you guys go out to sea by boat, how could you still get lost? Open black lens bracket Zoro. It's not lost, after we arrived in Orange Town, we passed through several small towns one after another. We didn't find a direct passenger ship to Kokoyasi village, so we had to go to Rog Town first, but the passenger ship sailed out of Rog Town no matter how far away, it was patronized by pirates. Close black lens bracket. After listening to Zoro's description, Sikong Yi understood the cause and effect, and then asked Zoro to return to Rog Town to hide. After finishing contact with Zoro, Sikong Yi summoned Venom. Master, what's the matter? Marco and the others are going to turn against each other. Put aside the comics for the time being. Now you should write a virtual currency program as soon as possible. Sikong Yi has a clear mind. Only by establishing a sound virtual currency system as the core lifeline of the internet can the current half-baked internet be fully revitalized. Master, virtual currency cannot be separated from the support of real currency. If you don't build a bank, the value of virtual currency will be greatly reduced. This is indeed a problem. Virtual currencies lack value support and are easily affected by liquidity, soaring or plummeting. Sikong Yi fell into deep thought. Once the word of mouth of online banking is bad, the team will not be able to move. 
By then, Beto Internet will probably follow suit. This is not what he wants to see. The next moment, Sikong Yi's eyes lit up, and he remembered the Tegu Compass who was eating ashes in the system space. Venom, can you mark the coordinates for those internet users? Sikong Yi remembers that the dimensional square is a setup type of space moving Tegu, which can instantly move to the marked position without any space restrictions, and can even be teleported to the end of the world. In other words, as long as he has the coordinates of those internet users, he can reverse the operation to perform space replacement and complete the recharge and withdrawal business. It is not even impossible to develop food delivery and express delivery business in the future. The only drawback is that the dimensional square requires a huge amount of energy. However, the fruit of nuclear energy can perfectly solve this problem. Reporting to the master, I can lock the location of internet users through the unique biosignature of the internet fruit, but if I want to lock so many internet users at the same time, I need to program a new set of software to assist. Venom answered honestly, and Tom Konye nodded after listening. It seems that this direction is feasible. Fortunately, there is no need for satellites, signal stations and other equipment in the previous life, otherwise it would be so troublesome. By the way, master, even if internet users can be marked at present, the energy consumption of the dimensional phalanx cannot maintain the long-term operation of the East Blue Area. Venom once again poured a basin of cold water. Okay, I'm impatient. Venom, I'll leave these two things to you. Write the program to mark users as soon as possible, and increase the energy development of nuclear energy fruits. After Sikong Yi finished explaining, the whole person became idle again. It's cool to be a hands-off shopkeeper. The three fruits are all developed by Venom, but he can enjoy the benefits of 1.8. Now that dimensional phalanx is about to be handed over to Venom for development, can Kyoka Suigetsu also consider it? Sikong Yi thought silently. In the end, he put the idea on hold for now. Without him, the current Venom is too busy to develop three devil fruits. Kyoka Suigetsu will talk about it later. The most urgent task is still to consider how to get out and anti-tracking. Sikong Yi thought for more than an hour. Time slowly came to noon, and Kuina, Luffy and the others also returned to the temporary residence with big bags and small bags. Sikong Yi opened his eyes and stood up, walked out of the living room to the front yard, and suddenly found that the open space in the front yard was full of various supplies. With a wave of the little hand, all the materials are put into the system space. Clap. Clapping his palms, Sikong Yi drew everyone's attention and said, Everyone has worked hard, let's have lunch first, I have something to explain after lunch. P.S. I started writing the book full time today, 4 updates per day, 3000 words per chapter, basically at 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 11 p.m. every day and it will be delayed in case of force majeure. Chapter 138 Allocating Teams and Salaries, Bell Mel admits it, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. The lunch was over soon, and Sikong Yi called all the crew members to gather in the front yard. Little ones, our Z-Way pirates are about to embark on a new journey, before that, I need to assign teams to you. Sikong Yi stood on the golden eaves, watching all his partners. The crew members who joined the Z-Way pirates in the early days all knew their team, but those who joined later were more vague. Even in the reward order, there is no news about Kojun and Tanlang except for the Seven Kills team, and they are just treated as ordinary crew members, which is not allowed by Sikong Yi. Team? Like my Seven Kills team? Luffy raised his hand and asked. Sikong Yi nodded. That's right, our Z-Way pirates actually have three teams, one is the Seven Killers team, the team is limited to seven people, and currently there are four of them, Luffy, Zoro, Ace and Sabo. Zoro was not there, and the three people who were named looked at each other, sparks sparked in their eyes, and they were full of battles. Since they are assigned to a team, of course they all want to be the strongest in the team. Seeing this, Sikong Yi smiled slightly, now I officially appoint Luffy as the leader of Team 7 Kills, and Sabo as the staff of Team 7 Kills. Luffy and Sabo were pleasantly surprised when they heard the news, especially Sabo, he didn't expect that he was so valued by the captain. However, these positions are not static, but those who can occupy them. The strongest team is qualified to serve as the leader of the team, the resourceful person is qualified to serve as the staff officer, and may even serve as the general staff of the entire Z-Way pirate group. And, I will increase the pocket money according to the position as appropriate. The team's staff is 10 million per month, the team leader is 30 million per month, the general staff is 50 million per month, special positions are determined according to the circumstances, and the rest of the ordinary members are 1 million per month. You are free to spend this money as you like. Wow, there was an uproar in the front yard, everyone was greedy for the positions of leader and staff officer. Although they don't particularly care about money, and they don't spend much money on weekdays, who would think they have too much money? Even Makino is terrified by the amount of money, the average member has a million a month, which is more cost-effective than opening a tavern for her. After all, after joining the Zwei Pirates, you can basically get some change every day without doing anything, unlike opening a tavern that needs to be busy from morning to night. At this moment, Makino was also a little moved. It's just that the life of wandering in the sea made her hesitate. Seeing everyone whispering and discussing, Ace even threatened to challenge Luffy. Seeing this, 
Sikong Yi didn't forcefully interrupt, but watched this unequal strength match with great interest. In just two minutes, Ace was defeated. His nose was bruised and his face was swollen, and he lost his temper completely. Luffy possesses six styles and conquerors hockey, plus rubber fruit, demon body physique, and Yuki. Ace has no power to fight back at all, and the battle is completely one-sided. Seeing that no one raised any more challenges, Sikong Yi continued, the second team of Arzwe pirates is called Po Jun, with a maximum of nine people. Currently, there are only two people, Kuina and Karina. You will be the team's leader for the time being chiefs and staff. There was a pair of eyes staring in the dark, and Sikong Yi did not explain the functions of each team, nor did he reveal the existence of the heroic spirit ship and the shadow ship. However, the Shadow Core has been completely known to the outside world because of the previous lion hunting battle on Sky Island. Kuina and Karina looked at each other, Kuina smiled and said, I am the leader, and my salary is 20 million higher than yours. 11. Call, didn't you just join the pirates a few days earlier than me? Karina lightly brushed her purple hair and said sourly. If you don't agree, you can challenge me, recently I have initially mastered the distant utopia. It's just a scabbard, my shadow binding can control you. Hey, what's the use of holding me, talk like you can move. I have already mastered shaving and paper arts, you are not my opponent at all. What's so great about mastering shaving, I can still fly. I will too, the quarrel between the two women stunned everyone around. At this time, Kuina and Karina also noticed the strange gazes around them, their cheeks were flushed, and they wished they could find a hole in the ground. What a shame. Seeing this scene, Sikong Yi was quite speechless, are you planning to use your mouth to compete? Cough cough, let's talk about the third team of Arzwe Pirates, the Greedy Wolf team. The upper limit is 12 people, which is the largest team among the three teams. Team Greedy Wolf currently only has Kaya and Usopp. Having said that, Sikong Yi looked at Kaya and Usopp. Kaya's expression didn't change, but Usopp looked at Sikong Yi excitedly, with an expression of choosing me, choosing me. Well. Kaya and Usopp are lacking in strength and resourcefulness, so we will not appoint leaders and staff for the time being. Usopp. Why, Captain, I think my strength is not bad, even if my strength is not good, I can temporarily act as the leader. If it's really not possible, let me temporarily act as the staff officer. Usopp is trying to get a job, if only for a month. However, Sikong Yi shook his head. You joined earlier than Ace, but now your strength is on the same level as Ace, and even Ace can't hold a position. Rather lack than excess, this is the purpose of Sikong Yi. Usopp Xinxing still needs to be tempered, he doesn't want the greedy wolf team to follow suit and become cowards and liars like Usopp. Oh, by the way, Luffy is currently serving as the deputy captain, with 100 million pocket money per month. Kaya is currently serving as the ship's doctor, with 50 million per month. Makino is acting as the logistics director, with 5 million per month. Hearing that Luffy's salary has skyrocketed, and that even Kaya and Makino were paid, Usopp's whole person is completely demoralized. Among those present, apart from him, only Ace has no job. The two brothers and sisters looked at each other, Usopp stepped forward and gave Ace a hug. It's so miserable for us two brothers and sisters. Go away. Ace pushed Usopp away who was hugging him. Who is your brother and sister? I was not selected because there was no place, and you were not selected because you were not qualified, understand? After hearing Ace's words, Usopp split open. The whole person fell into a sluggishness. The rest of the people roared with laughter, Sikong Yi shook his head with a smile, and jumped off the eaves. Then everyone is free to move around, we will have a banquet in the evening, and we will set sail tomorrow. Oh yeah. Hearing that the captain is going to have a banquet again, everyone except Usopp is excited. Under an orange tree in the distance, Sack stroked the nose of the plane, which was messed up because of hiding, with a set of hairspray hands very skillful. The pirate group with only 10 members has already started to assign teams, but the name of the team is quite nice, Saki muttered to himself. Seeing that the Z-Way pirates are already mobilizing before setting sail, it means that the Z-Way pirates will either leave with them tomorrow, or they will escape from Kokoyasi village before they meet tomorrow morning. Thatch passes the information back to Marco, but this time he didn't use the phone bug, but the forum app in the Beidou internet. As long as he posted a post in advance and negotiated some special code names with Marco, the two parties could conduct long distance communication anytime, anywhere. This method was thought up by Marco based on the previous changes of the Ziwe pirates, which is conducive to the transmission of information. The only troublesome point is that everyone can see the posts on the forum, so some special terms must be hidden, otherwise it will be discovered by interested people. On the east bank of Kokoyasi village, Marco, who got the information, looked at the horizon and didn't pay too much attention to the Ziwe pirates. Just make sure that the Ziwe pirates are always under 547's nose, then the other party can't escape. As for forcibly breaking through, Marco didn't think the opponent had this ability. Compared with the Ziwe pirates, Marine and the people behind Beidou internet are the ones he needs to be aware of. Night fell. Temporary residence. The Ziwe pirates held a very grand banquet, they did not invite Marco and others, but they invited Belmire. Jian and Nuo Kagao sisters. 
Bel Mel didn't plan to come this time, but after listening to Sikong Yi's words in the morning, Nami and Nu Okagao cried and clamored to join the Ziwei pirates. Especially Nu Okagao, who is extremely filial, after learning that Kaya can cure Bel Mel's unmentionable illness and make Bel Mel live a long life, she even said, Don't let me join Ziwei pirates, I'll run away from home, cruel words. Bel Mel was silent for a long time, but finally agreed. She knew she couldn't hold back her two daughters. It is also very clear that Nami's heart has long been placed on the Ziwei pirates. I understand more clearly that the reason why Nu Okagao wants to join the Ziwei pirates is not only for her, but also to prevent Nami from being in danger. And even if she refuses this time, when Nu Okagao and Nami grow up, won't they go find the Ziwei pirates by themselves? To sum up, Bel Mel can only agree to the request of the second daughter in the end, and it is precisely because of this that she came to the banquet of the Ziwei pirates. Amidst the laughter, Nami and Nu Okagao joined the banquet of the Ziwei pirates, while Bel and Ajian called Sikong Yi aside, their expressions dignified and complicated. You won and successfully abducted my daughter from me. Bell sat on a stool next to the golden dining table, lit a cigarette and took two deep puffs, then completely confessed, with a hint of disappointment and deep reluctance hidden in his eyes. Chapter 139 Happy to mention two little Lolitas, make final preparations, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 14 Kun by G Bu Sheng Dian now 14 EP 0049 TUD 13 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Qi Windows 11 Zha Yang Ban 14 inches. Dui Zhao. Quan Gao Qing Shi An Shi. I believe that Sister Bei will not regret today's decision. Sikong Yi sat next to Belmul, taking a sip of juice. It is not a day's cold to freeze three feet, and it is not a day's work to wear a stone with dripping water. Don't look at Sikong Yi who just used a few words to throw out some benefits today, and then showed a look of playing hard to get, and then fooled Sister Nuokagao, he thought it was easy. In fact, if it weren't for his persistent recruitment some time ago, and Bell's strong refusal, it would not have caused a strong rebound from the second daughter on this last day. People have their own thoughts, and whenever Bel Mel decides to reject Sikong Yi for them, a rebellious seed will be planted in the hearts of the two girls. The seeds are bound to germinate over time, especially when Nami and Nuo Chigao learned that joining the Zui pirates would allow their adoptive mother, Bel, to live a long and healthy life, their filial piety did not allow them to refuse. That's right, Nami may be able to resist the temptation of thunderfruit, but he can't prevent the flood of filial piety in his mind. As long as children who are a little bit filial, when they learn that their parents can live a long life, and they only need a negligible contribution to get it, no one will refuse. As for the thunderfruit, it is used to appease the accessory proposed by Bel Mel. Let Bel Mel know that he, Sikong Yi, is very friendly to the crew, and also let the adoptive mother not have to worry too much about her daughter's safety. All the layouts seem to be very ordinary, but because of these ordinary layouts, an invisible web is woven, and the minds of Bel and her daughters are firmly in their hands. Don't talk nonsense, didn't you say that as long as Nami joins the Ziwei pirates, you will give her the thunderfruit? Apparently Belmire intends to check in person to prevent her daughter from being cheated. Once Nami ate the thunderfruit, she was completely relieved, at least her daughter's safety was basically guaranteed. At the same time, this is also the best way to verify Sikong Yi's character. Being stared at by Bell and AGN, Sikong Yi touched his nose, how could he feel like seeing his father-in-law and mother-in-law? Especially the scene where the elder brother asks for thunderfruit, how is it so similar to the girl's parents asking for a gift? Ahem, this is of course no problem. Sikong Yi coughed twice then beckoned Nami and Nuoki to come over. After a while, the two little girls came to Sikong Yi, carefree and without any shyness. Nuokagao, Nami, would you like to join my Ziwei pirates? I do, I do, the two little girls agreed with one voice. Clap clap. Seeing this scene, all the crew members who were feasting in the front yard clapped their hands and shouted the slogan, warm welcome. Ding. Regular task. Recruiting partners. The eleventh ring has been completed. Please choose devil fruit. Option 1. Vegetables and fruits. Option 2. Grass fruit. Option 3. Tangerine fruit. Ding. Regular task. Recruiting partners. The twelfth ring has been completed. Please choose devil fruit. Option 1. Vampire fruit. Option 2. Fenrir fruit. Option 3. Dark elf fruit. Happy to mention two little girls. The system's notification sound came from time to time. However, Sikong Yi couldn't help being stunned when he saw the three devil fruits in front of him. Kai Kai. Sao Sao. Tangerine. What's all this? Come out, the system. Why'd I feel that the devil fruit you gave this time is so perfunctory? Sikong Yi questioned the system in his heart. The last time he was in Shields, he got the nuclear fruit and networking fruit from Kirby and Toshigi. But now? What kind of messy fruit are the first three? The latter three are also encountered before. Although they are not bad, they always feel that they are many times worse than the last option. Returning to the host, the devil fruit option appears randomly, and the first three devil fruits are not as bad as the host imagined. Sikong Yi was not satisfied with the system's response. However, it is impossible for the system to change it for him, so he can only make do with it. 
Sikong Yi scanned it roughly, and the first three devil fruits were similar to Robin's flower flower fruit, and they were all plant paramecia devil fruits. Vegetables and fruits can turn a certain part of the body into leaves, into organs, and even grow on other people's bodies. Works almost exactly the same as flower flower fruit. The same is true for grass fruit. However, the tangerine fruit is somewhat different. It allows the fruit capable user to condense an orange. The orange has many functions, including a series of abilities such as healing injuries, restoring physical strength, and mind bombing. Therefore, Sikong Yi simply chose tangerine fruit and Fenrir fruit. Although the vampire fruit is good, Sikong Yi knows where this fruit is, and he can go there to get it by himself in the future, and he can also recruit the cute little civet cat by the way. Fenrir fruit does not appear in the original work. There is certainly no harm in choosing this fruit. Afterwards, Sikong Yi took out the thunder fruit and tangerine fruit and handed them to Nami and Nuo Kagao respectively. One bite is fine, but you have to swallow it, Sikong Yi reminded me. Nami and Nuo Kagao held the fruit, stunned for a moment, and then directly bit down. Ouch, asterisk, uh, what is this? Why is it so unpalatable? Nami frowned, the smell was hard to describe in words, but fortunately Nami didn't spit it out after listening to Sikong Yi's words. The same goes for Nuo Kagao, but she swore she would never take a second bite. Devil fruit is the taste, just get used to it, Sikong Yi couldn't help laughing. How can you get used to this kind of thing? And isn't there only one devil fruit to eat? Nami squinted, with a look of, don't try to fool me. Sikong Yi did not explain that the venom is used to this smell, but asked the second daughter, how do you feel? Is there any change in your body? Nami closed his eyes to sense, and the next moment, lightning flashed all over his body, and strips of lightning as thick as a thumb surrounded his body, making a crackling sound. Seeing this, Bel Mel completely believed that Sikong Yi sincerely invited his daughter to board the boat instead of fooling her. What made her unbelievable was that Tom Kongye was willing to take out Logia Thunder Fruit as the color area. Jien, who was standing next to Bell, was stunned. Nami's appearance carrying the power of thunder was like a god controlling thunder and lightning. How about it, am I handsome? Nami retracted the thunderbolt, opened his eyes, and asked Belmel with a playful face. Well, you're handsome, Bell Mel praised generously. I seem to be able to conjure only one orange. Seeing his sister's performance, Nuo Kagao stared at the orange in his hand a little frustrated. Don't underestimate your fruit ability. It can transform into various types of oranges, heal injuries and restore physical strength. You need to dig more abilities. Sikong Yi comforted him, and Ajien also stood up and patted Nuo Chigao's head at this time. Your captain is right, I am born to be useful, and your orange will definitely become the most useful ability. Not to mention anything else, it's really good just to quench your thirst. Sikong Yi took the yellow orange from Master Nuoki's hand, peeled it open, took a bite, and said vaguely. Bell Mel also echoed. That's right, Nuo Kagao from my mother's family can definitely exert the power of orange fruit. When Nuo Kagao heard this, she immediately became happy. In fact, she likes oranges very much, but she is a little disappointed when she sees her younger sister suddenly become so strong. She used to protect her younger sister, but I don't know if she will have the chance to protect her in the future. The next moment, Nuo Kagao seemed to remember his original purpose, so he shouted, Captain, I have already joined the Ziwe Pirates, shouldn't it be time for you to fulfill your promise? Yeah. Captain Big Brother, you can't play tricks, Nami joked. Naturally, Sikong Yi did not intend to break his promise, and called Kaya over to treat both Bell and Ajian in an all-round way, and then he winked at Kuina who was not far away. Good Zhao, Kuina naturally knew what the captain meant, and immediately put Bell and Jian into the passive heroic contract. Afterwards, sisters Bell, Jian and Nuo Kagao joined the banquet. In the first half of the banquet, everyone was feasting on the dining table, and after eating almost, they started to play some small games. Bell and Ajian also played a few rounds under the instigation of Nami and Nuo Kagao, but most of the time they watched quietly from the sidelines. Everyone had a good time, and didn't go back to their homes until 12 o'clock in the evening. After Sikong Yi explained to everyone, he returned to the Emperor Star as before. As soon as he entered the Emperor Star, Sikong Yi went straight into the captain's cabin, opened his eyes to see if anyone was watching. Within a few seconds, Sikong Yi found that someone on a small fishing boat at the port had been staring at him, and it was Sak who had been staring at him all day. It's really lingering. If Saki keeps staring at me, it may be a bit difficult to upgrade the Emperor Star, dude. Sikong Yi doesn't want others to know that he can upgrade pirate ships, especially groups that are hostile to him. What should I do? Is it possible that I will go back to the temporary residence now, and then directly upgrade the Emperor Star directly? Thinking of this, Sikong Yi's eyes brightened. Chapter 140 The Third Level Emperor Star, a dual purpose electric submarine. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 14 Kun by G Bu Sheng Dian now 14 EP 0049 TUD 13 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Qi Windows 11 Jia Yang Ban 14 inches. Dui Zhao. Quan Gao Qing Xian Shi. It is a good way to remotely upgrade the Emperor Star, but before leaving, Sikong Yi suddenly remembered that he still has a skill called Heishi Shipbuilding. 
A phantom can be separated in any area within a radius of 10 kilometers, but this skill is ineffective for those with strong mental power. But Sachi is from New World, observation hockey will definitely not be weak. I just don't know if my three Tomo Sharingan can be superimposed on it, whether it can fool Sarge. However, as soon as Sikong Yi conceived the prototype of the tactics in his mind, the system jumped out to tear down the stage. Host, the essence of the captain's skills and captain's characteristics are not the same, the two superimpose, at most 1 plus 1 equals 2, and there will be no situation where 1 plus 1 is greater than 2. Sikong Yi. Good guy. With the dog system, you just say it doesn't work and you're fine. What are you doing talking so much nonsense? Forget it, let's use the method that was first thought of. Sikong Yi left the venom on the Emperor Star, and after explaining some things, jumped off the Emperor Star and returned to the temporary residence. Seeing this, Saki felt very strange. Didn't Sikong Yi sleep on the Emperor Star in the past, why did he change his face today? After thinking about it, he couldn't figure it out, so Saki continued to follow Sikong Yi. Anyway, as long as you keep an eye on the core figures of the Ziwei Pirates, the entire Ziwei Pirates will not be able to escape. Sikong Yi returned to the temporary residence. When Boki saw the owner coming, he ran forward and rubbed his thighs, while the former patted the dog's head. Boki is so good, you have been keeping watch all this time, it's really hard for you. Woof, Pochi murmured softly, expressing that it wasn't hard work at all. Sikong Yi smiled, listening to the snoring and dream talk from the men's dormitory, lost interest in going to sleep, and planned to chat with Boki about life. 950, Pock, remember, from now on your codename will be Blackbeard, no matter who steals it from you, this codename can't be lost, you know. Pochi. Wow, your moonwalk is almost ready. When you learn moonwalk, I will give you a gift. Pochi. Wow, by the way, don't forget to supervise Ace on weekdays. Your former master, Dayton, was Ace's adoptive mother. Take good care of Ace. Maybe one day you will become Ace's adoptive father. Pochi. Wow, forget it, let you be a single dog as an adoptive father, it's hard for you. If Ace wants to accept Whitebeard as his father in the future, you remember to match Whitebeard and Mibe ten times. Master, what are you talking about? What is Whitebeard? Does Blackbeard sound good? Whether your former master can get close to the big pirate Whitebeard depends on your hard work. Maybe the two of them will have a good story in the future. Pochi. Sikong Yi has been talking freely with Bo Chi on the surface, but in fact he is in contact with Venom through the internet private server in his mind. Venom, is there anyone monitoring the Emperor Star? Master, no, after hearing that no one was watching, Sikong Yi immediately communicated with the system to upgrade the Emperor Star, and the upgrade direction was an electric submarine. A few minutes passed, and the system responded with an upgrade complete. However, Sikong Yi can't see the changes of the Emperor Star at this moment, and can only check the properties of the Emperor Star through the system panel. God Level Pirate Group System, Host Information. Name. Sikong Yi, Position. Captain, Combat Power, S Class. Skills. Longevity and Boat. Yumi Boat Spirit. Boat Heart and Boat Meaning, Ultra Distance Boat Delivery. Soul Boat Chat. Heishi Boat Building. Wu Wei Boat Hidden. Diamond Suit Characteristics. Dark Fruit, 57%, Nuclear Fruit, 5%, Internet Fruit, 5%, Rene Sharingan, 25%, Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu, 3%, Poison Quality, 70%, 3%, Tigu Dimensional Square, 1%, Conquerors, 5%, Knowledge Color, 9%, 6 Styles Paper Arts, 12%, 6 Styles Shaved, 8%, 6 Styles Iron Body, 5%. Partner Information, Filled Diamond 7 Kills, Luffy, Zoro, Ace, Sabo. Diamond Suit Pojun. Kuina, Karina, Tashigi, Nuokagao, Greedy Wolf, Kaya, Usopp, Nami. Hull Information. Ship Type. Class 3 Electric Submarine. Filled Diamond Defense. Grade D, Power, Electric Type, Space, 120 Cubic Meters. Basic. Captain's Cabin X1. Pumping Water Storage and Water Purification Device X1. Open Top Glass Cover Deck X1. Solar Panel X3. Energy Converter X1. Power Generation and Storage Equipment X1. Filled Diamond Weapons. Grid, Torpedo, Heroic Ship, Shadow Ship. Room. Reception Cabin X1. Kitchen X1. Bathroom X2. Single Bedroom Cabin X16. Seastone Swimming Pool X1. Gravity Training Room X1. Task Information. Diamond Suit Main Line. Famous East Blue. Filled Circle General. Recruit Partners. Filled Diamond Achievements. Total Wealth Breaks Through Tens of Billions. Diamond Suit Achievement. The total reward has exceeded 1 billion. Subline. Find the Dragon Pirates. Support line. Establish a network financial system. Side quest. Visit One Piece's execution platform. After viewing the system panel, the host information has changed a bit compared to before. Four people have been added to the partner information column, but none of them have officially boarded the ship yet. In the whole information column, the Emperor Star has been upgraded to level 3, 
the whole defense has been upgraded to a large level, and many new functions have been added. Among them, the most important ones are power generation and storage equipment and electric power devices. These two are the heart of the electric submarine. The convertible glass covered deck is one of the keys for electric submarines to be used both on land and on land. BEFH. On the sea, the glass cover can be opened to become an open deck. When diving, the glass cover can be closed to prevent external seawater from entering the cabin. Coupled with the breathing and oxygen exchange cycle system, you can stay on the seabed for a long time without worrying about hypoxia. It's just. The defensive power of the Emperor Star is a bit worrying. If you accidentally encounter sea kings, it will probably be cold immediately. It seems that we still need to find the proverbs of the Ark. Sikong Yi murmured in his heart, with the blueprint of the Ark proverb, it might be possible for the Emperor Star to fly. At that point, he won't have to worry about meeting the sea kings anymore. The next moment, Sikong Yi suddenly remembered that Nami seemed to be assigned to Team Tanlang. That said, Nami has a high chance of getting the chicken charm. The chicken charm has the power of floating. If Nami gets the chicken charm, it is equivalent to having two abilities to control the Emperor Star to fly. Wait, if it's Nami, the Rat Talisman's dead creature's ability is the best match. After all, the Rat Talisman is somewhat similar to the Soul Fruit, and both can create creatures like homies. Sikong Yi's eyes lit up suddenly, he remembered that Nami in the original book got homies from Bigimamu, which made his strength skyrocket. Maybe Nami who got the Rat Charm, coupled with Thunderfruit, will be even more terrifying than in the original book. And if Nami can bring the dead and living things of the Emperor Star, whether it can make the Emperor Star generate thinking and sail autonomously, it is also ten philosophical questions worth exploring and pondering. One by one, Sikong Yi is looking forward to Nami's boarding gift bag more and more. Venom, now you've put down the pirate flag on the Emperor Star, and then drive the Emperor Star to the west bank of Kokoyasi village. Sikong Yi contacted Venom through the internet. Okay, master. After the Venom drove the Emperor Star away, Sikong Yi used Heishi shipbuilding to create a phantom exactly the same as the Earth-level Emperor Star at the original location of the Emperor Star. After another half hour, Venom sent back a message that the task was completed. Sikong Yi used Wu Wei ship hiding to hide the real Emperor Star. Although these two captain skills are ineffective for those with high spiritual power, they can somewhat reduce the exposure rate of the Emperor Star and prevent accidents caused by being seen by ordinary villagers. What's more, now that the Emperor Star is likely to change a lot of appearances, Marco and the others may not be able to recognize them even if they face each other. All is ready except for the opportunity. Sikong Yi, who had nothing to do, leaned against the front door of the living room, with Boki lying beside him. And he just sat and chatted with Pochi all night. Under the orange tree not far away, Siki stared at Sikong Yi all night in order to prevent Sikong Yi from making any small moves. Unfortunately, Sikong Yi was very honest this night, which made Siki, who had no clue, quite depressed. In the early morning of the next day, the first ray of sunlight shone on the faces of Sikong Yi and Boki, and both the boy and the dog subconsciously stood up. Pochi, you are about to usher in a new journey, aren't you happy? Pochi, wow, ha ha ha, I'm going to wake up the little slob in the room. As Sikong Yi said, he walked into the men's dormitory and roared, then ran to knock on the door of the women's dormitory. When everyone got up, washed, and almost woke up, Sikong Yi ordered Sabo to melt the gold house into a ball, and then put all the gold into the system space. These golds are the necessary materials needed to build the Emperor Star into the Ark Proverbs, so they can't just be wasted like that. Boys, clean up the rubbish around you a little bit, and then go to the East Bank to gather. Girls, go to Beijia's house to wake up Nami and Nuokagao, and then go to the East Bank to gather together. We are ready to set off to enter the legendary Grand Line. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. The cheers of the crowd were of course an illusion, everything was arranged by Sikong Yi to confuse Sachi. Sikong Yi lowered his hands slightly, I'll go to the port first to drive the Emperor Star to the East Coast, so don't be late. No problem, make sure to arrive on time, Captain, hurry up, or we will have to wait for you then. Chapter 141 Using my body as bait, Marco said that I will play too. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 15.6 Kun by G Bu Sheng Dian now 15 FD 0068 TU. HP HK. 7999 Hong Kong dollars D 13 Dai Intel Core i7 Chu Li Chi Windows 1. Okay, okay, stop talking nonsense, and act quickly. Seeing that everyone dared to tease him, Sikong Yi said angrily. After speaking, Sikong Yi walked towards the port, not fast. Seeing this, Siki followed Sikong Yi subconsciously. In his opinion, as long as Sikong Yi doesn't make any troubles, other friends will have no problems. Sikong Yi walked slowly, picking a few green leaves from time to time, and occasionally kicking a few stones, his indifferent appearance was like a spring outing. On the way to the port, Tangerine passed through a few streets in the village. When Sikong Yi came to the street, he looked around, every time I passed by a vendor, I would order some ingredients. Sage's eyes widened. It only took 10 minutes to arrive at the port, but Sikong Yi still didn't arrive after walking for more than half an hour. 
How much he wanted to go forward and pat Sikong Yi on the shoulder, reminding him to drive the boat to the east bank quickly. But he can't, because he is following Sikong Yi at the moment, isn't it exposed by going out? Oh, no, it doesn't seem to be a problem for me to go out now. I just said that I stopped by to buy something. No, no, this reason is too lame. It is more appropriate to say that Captain Marco asked me to find him. That's right, that's it. After deciding on the course of action, Siki slowly approached Sikong Yi, patted Sikong Yi on the shoulder, and then put on a surprised expression. Xiao Yi, what are you doing here? Captain Marco told me to come and find you, we are leaving for the Grand Line soon. Sikong Yi turned his head and glanced at the orange leaf doped on the nose of the plane, and was speechless. If he hadn't known that Siki had been following him since he left yesterday, he would have almost believed it. Don't worry about it, little sage, you just came at the right time. As the chef of the Whitebeard Pirates, help me see, which of these cabbage grows the most juicy and freshest? Sikong Yi pointed to the rows of cabbage in front of the vendor and asked. Didn't you buy supplies yesterday? I bought it, but I happened to pass by the vegetable market just now, and suddenly I couldn't control my desire to buy. Sage. Choose the one in the middle. It grows the most juicy and freshest. Whether it is boiled or stir-fried, it can perfectly present the original taste of cabbage. Sack casually pointed to a cabbage. Oh oh oh, let me take a look. Huh? There are worms in this cabbage, brother, do you mean the cabbage with worms? Sikong Yi opened a leaf, surprised road. Originally, he didn't want to criticize, and planned to respond to Sachi's words, taking the opportunity to delay time. But the slug was in the gap between the cabbage leaves, it was so conspicuous that Sikong Yi was too embarrassed to open his eyes and tell nonsense. Uh. Sachi was a little confused, didn't he just pick a cabbage at random, as for picking a cabbage with worms? Little saw brother, are you out of shape, and you haven't turned on your knowledge when picking cabbage? Sikong Yi showed worry. However, when Siki heard that picking cabbage had to be informed, his whole face turned dark. You're insulting the chef, you know that. Our chefs always choose ingredients by eye and intuition, not by hockey. Hey, is that so? I heard people say that when killing chickens and fish, use conquerors to stun. When making beef balls, use armored color to beat beef, it is better to use knowledge color perception when cutting vegetables. Hockey does have an auxiliary function, but for an excellent chef, only by completely abandoning these external forces and integrating with sincerity can he make real food. The two sides had a heated discussion on whether chefs need to use hockey. The vendor saw that the two were occupying the latrine and not shit. Oh no, occupying the stall and not buying vegetables, the whole person was furious. But Sikong Yi is well known in this area, almost all the villagers know that he is the captain of the Ziwei pirates, offering a reward of tens of millions of big pirates. Therefore, the street vendor dare not get angry at all, and must accompany the smiling face. The two sides had been arguing for a long time, and Sachi was about to show Sikong Yi a hand, when he suddenly sensed a message from the internet in his mind, and someone replied to the post he sent. Sage knew that the post he sent was actually used to contact Captain Marco, and now that there is a reply, it is likely that Captain Marco is looking for him. When I opened the post, Captain Marco asked, Where did you go? It's already half past nine, why haven't you seen anyone from Zitwan yet? I'm shopping for groceries with little Yoruichi, so don't worry, Xiaoyi is watching right under my nose and can't run away. We are in a hurry, hurry back. Oh. One when Saki communicated with Marco, Sikong Yi also received feedback from Venom and learned that Marco was already urging. With a faint smile, Sikong Yi said without waiting for Saki to speak, Little Sage, let's forget about showing off your cooking skills. Aren't we going to set sail today? We can't delay too long. Yes, yes, Xiaoyi, you are more considerate of the overall situation. It's not like I can't help but show my hands when it comes to cooking. Scratching the back of his head, Saki didn't realize that he was sold and counted the money for the other party. Sikong Yi smiled lightly and walked slowly towards the port. Five minutes later, Sikong Yi and Saki came to the port, and Sikong Yi saw the Phantom Emperor star that he had transformed, which was exactly the same as the real one. If he is not the caster, there is no clue at all. However, this Phantom Emperor star is translucent in Saki's eyes. Huh? Xiao Yi. Why is your ship a little transparent? Wait. Dot why can't I perceive the existence of this ship? It's like there is no pirate ship parked here at all. Saki gradually came to his senses, and at the same time, he also remembered that Captain Marco's words did not seem to mention the presence of the other members of the Ziwei pirates. That is to say, except for Sikong Yi, everyone else is gone. Sikong Yi, what do you mean? Yo, I've finally been seen through, little brother Saw is really smart. Sikong Yi cancelled the Heishi shipbuilding skill, looked back at Saki, with a smile on the corner of his mouth. Feeling being ridiculed, Saki suddenly burst into momentum. I think I treat you kindly, why did you betray us? For this question, Sikong Yi did not answer. The two confronted each other like this, Saki's aura aroused the fear of the surrounding fishermen, and they hurriedly dispersed, running as far as possible, for fear of being affected. After a while, Marco, Namuel and Teach arrived at the port. Apparently, Sachi contacted his teammates via the internet. Saya, where is your pirate ship? Where are your partners? Marco's voice was cold. 
Sikong Yi spread his hands. Emperor Star and my partners have already left. I didn't expect you to be quite courageous, use yourself as a bait, and stay behind for other partners. Teach was a little surprised, but Joy followed. If you can catch Sikong Yi and get the venom fruit in Sikong Yi's body, then it doesn't matter if you want the dark fruit or not. Xiao Yi, I really want to know, why did you betray us? Marco's face was gloomy, he was busy sending people to watch Sikong Yi, but he didn't expect to be swayed by Sikong Yi instead. Brother Ma, you misunderstood me. I have no intention of betraying the Whitebeard Pirates. The cooperation between us can continue. The previous cooperation model is fine. Sikong Yi waved his hand and explained, It's just that I can't betray my partner, so I neither promise to hand Kaya to you, nor promise to leave alone before Zoro and the others meet. Oh oh, just because of this, Marco really didn't expect that just because he was in a hurry to leave East Blue, the Zwei Pirates had the idea of leaving instead. No, even if Zoro joins us, I won't go to New World with you. I still have to recruit a few partners in East Blue. No matter what conditions you put forward, I won't leave for the time being. Sikong Yi's calmness made Marco and others not expect it. And strictly speaking, they are not kind, but Marco has too many things to worry about. East Blue has not been peaceful recently, and his father's health is deteriorating, which made him propose some unreasonable plans before. When I saw Sikong Yi agreeing readily, I thought there was no big problem. However, all this is taken for granted by Marco. He didn't even think about it carefully, anyone with a gun to their head wouldn't dare to say, no. So, you say this now, do you want us to let you go? Marco quickly realized that Sikong Yi was isolated and helpless at the moment, and if he wanted to get out of trouble, he could only rely on their high hands. Sikong Yi was taken aback, do I mean that? I can leave whenever I want to. The reason why I don't leave is not only to delay some time, but also to prove my innocence. After all, the backing of the Whitebeard Pirates is still useful in the future, so we can't give up easily. Captain Marco, don't be mistaken for the villain's slander, those words are just lies fabricated for the purpose of escaping. Teach was in a hurry. Saki also echoed. That's right, Captain Marco, you can't believe Sikong Yi's words, I followed his advice just now. After hearing what Teach and Sak said, Marco calmed down a lot, and said to Sikong Yi, are you not afraid that we will arrest you, and then publish the information on the headlines of the newspaper to lure your partners back? Before, Sikong Yi used his body as bait to get his friends out of trouble, but now Marco wants Sikong Yi to be a bait again to lure those little friends back. Isn't it just using Sikong Yi as a bait, Xiao Ma said, I can play B2. Chapter 142 Fighting at the Port, take advantage of the opportunity to break through the bottleneck of armed forces. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Brother Ma, listen to your words, are you going to catch me as bait? Sikong Yi is full of jokes. If Marco knows that he can teleport back to the Emperor Star, what will he think? Just grab it, I don't want the relationship between us to be too stiff. Marco didn't answer directly. Ah, Sikong Yi sneered, forcing Zwei pirates to compromise for the sake of his father. Who made the relationship simmer first? But strictly speaking, joining the Whitebeard pirates is equivalent to Whitebeard's younger brother. If he just enjoys benefits and does not fulfill his obligations, it is indeed unreasonable. Seeing that Marco and others have served as sparring partners for more than 10 days, he doesn't mind helping a bunch of Whitebeard pirates. But he's not going to ignore his own companions just to heal Whitebeard. Actually, I think it's better for you not to go to the Grand Line recently. If you really meet Dark Fruit, the Brotherhood will be lost. Sikong Yi changed the subject to teach. Before the person teach could speak, Saki stood up and refuted. Don't say that the comic is not true or not, even if it is true, we have already known the plot in advance, and then I just need to give the, 583, dark fruit to teach, and the subsequent things will not happen. Innocent. Sikong Yi was not stingy about making comments on Sachi. The ambition of the black fat man in the comics is very obvious, that is, to pull Whitebeard off the horse, replace him himself, and then take advantage of the trend to become One Piece. You gave the dark fruit to Fatty Hay, will Fatty Hay give up the dream of One Piece? Once Fatty Black gets the fruit that can carry his dreams, you Whitebeard pirates will definitely become obstacles and stepping stones on his way forward. Uh. Saki was stunned by Sikong Yi's call, he really didn't think about it at first. But thinking about it carefully, there is nothing wrong with Sikong Yi's words. Teach, who was standing next to Sachi, also changed his expression greatly when he heard that, this Sikong Yi was simply unreasonable, he was killed by himself, and he actually wanted to drag him into the water. So blatantly sowing dissension is an outright conspiracy. Even if Marco and the others saw Sikong Yi's purpose, they couldn't refute this very tenable reason. Sikong Yi, don't mess around with me. I'm not interested in Dark Fruit, and I'm not interested in One Piece's throne. The contents of that manga are all fake. Teach roared and rushed directly to where Sikong Yi was. He can no longer let Sikong Yi speak, otherwise the rift he wrote about Marco et al. will be irreparable. He's doing nothing right now, and he can't afford to lose Whitebeard. Oh, Fatty Hay is in a hurry. Sikong Yi made a joke, and then possessed the Venom suit. After completing the task last night, the Venom returned to Sikong Yi's body. 
In the next instant, Sikong Yi gushed out jet black substances from top to bottom, enveloping his whole body. The surface of the body is smooth, which combines the plasticity of rubber and the texture of gold, and it is very similar to the Iron Man suit after matching the fire resistance pattern. The purple pupils looking down on the world, the terrifying huge mouth and long tongue brought great oppression to Teach. This is something Teach has never felt before. This kid, seems to have become stronger, and not only a little bit stronger. Teach was extremely shocked. When he was 17 years old, he didn't seem to have such strength, right? But Sikong Yi is only 10 years old this year, it wasn't just Teach who was shocked, Marco's three captains were equally astonished. Although Sikong Yi's aura was still immature to them, it was many times stronger than when they first met. HMPH, so what if you become stronger, you are still not my opponent, Teach roared and punched Venom with a punch. Boom. There was a dull impact sound, as if the mat was hitting metal. Sikong Yi flew upside down for tens of meters and was about to fall into the sea. Venom immediately spread his wings and landed firmly above the sea. The Venom grinned at the people on the shore, and flicked his right hand fiercely, like pumping a pump. The next moment, black steam came out of the Venom, and his appearance was three points more vicious than before. Second gear, shave, Venom came to teach in an instant and punched continuously. Not to be outdone, teach covered armament hockey with both hands and confronted Venom. The two sides came and went, fist shadows overlapped, and each fist collision caused a layer of ripples in the air. Venom quickly used dark energy to offset the damage, while Sikong Yi used vector control in the attack, constantly releasing, borrowing, and exerting force. It is on par with Teach for the time being. Teach, I'll help you. Sage shouted and went behind Venom. However, before the fist touched the Venom, the Venom suddenly stretched out his hands behind his back, and confronted Sax. Seeing that the Venom can change into wings and arms, Teach's eyes turned red. What kind of super fruit is this, with such diverse abilities? Sikong Yi, I didn't expect you to hide a lot of hole cards. Teach snorted coldly, last time he asked about other abilities of Venom, but was prevaricated by Sikong Yi. At that time, he thought that Sikong Yi didn't know how to develop the fruit of Venom, it turned out that every ability developed by the other party was very practical. A person is in the rivers and lakes, how can he not have some means to save his life? Venom Kaido with a thick voice. Swish. Just at this moment, Namur shaved to the side of Venom, and several sets of Murloc Karate rushed towards Venom with a strong wind, and Venom had to separate two hands to fight against it. However, the two hands that had just been simulated were bitten off by Namur before they could perform meritorious deeds. F.K. Sikong Yi was taken aback, this Murloc is a dog. He suddenly remembered that the Murloc Arlong also seemed to have good teeth, it seems that these shark Murlocs like to bite people. But the Venom is not vegetarian. The black substance spreads along the huge mouth of Namur's shark, and there is a faint tendency to cover it. Namur knew something was wrong, so he ran towards the beach decisively, intending to jump into the sea. Seeing this, the venom quickly took back the offspring. Sikong Yi was also shown by Namur's jumping into the sea. If you haven't eaten the venom of devil fruit, you're really not afraid of this move. It's a pity that the venom has already eaten three devil fruits, and even using the sea stone bracelet to eliminate the side effects will take three times the time of ordinary people. Alas! Sikong Yi sighed lightly, everything has advantages and disadvantages, and one cannot force it. Phoenix Seal. Marco also planned to join the battle at this time, with a loud cry, his body turned into a phoenix. The blue golden flames formed a pair of flaming wings, and he leapt tens of meters high, covering the sky and the sun. The next moment, Marco's feet became claws, engulfed in the brilliant heavenly power and blazing flames, and stepped towards the direction of Sikong Yi. Seeing this, the three of Teach retreated one after another, but Venom was ready to resist the blow without dodging or dodging. Seeing this, Marco subconsciously withdrew a little bit of strength, but this made Sikong Yi experience a claw technique that fell from the sky. Rumble. A huge noise erupted, and Kekiyasi village seemed to have experienced an earthquake. The villagers were all toppled, and many thatched and wooden houses were blown away by the aftermath. Only some stone brick houses are relatively strong. Many villagers were injured and lay on the ground wailing. Some villagers who saw their homes collapsed cried heartbroken. The culture and education of One Piece world is backward, and many people have never read books, let alone heard the story of the three little pigs. And the entire port of Kokoyasi village was instantly annihilated in Marco's Phoenix Seal, leaving only a huge pit. The deep pit was not too far from the sea, and the seawater began to gather after an impact, pouring into the deep pit. Sikong Yi was lying on his back at the bottom of the deep pit, covered in scars all over his body, his hands and left leg were comminuted, his internal organs were severely damaged, and he was no longer able to fight. Venom was also severely injured by Marco, appearing to be sluggish, and the speed of repairing the injury became extremely slow. Coupled with the influx of seawater, the venom became weaker and weaker. Ha 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 ha. Sikong Yi laughed unscrupulously as he saw the extra armed colors on the attribute panel. Just now he ordered the venom to turn iron body to ultimate, and he mobilized all the muscles that could be mobilized in the whole body, and finally he inspired armament hockey. Although it was inspired by venom, isn't the venom his? 
Standing on the edge of the pit, Marco couldn't help feeling puzzled when he saw that Sikong Yi was still smiling after being severely injured. 2.4 inches what are you laughing at? Teach has been upset with Sikong Yi for a long time, seeing that Sikong Yi is still laughing wildly, he immediately asked out his heart for Marco. But Sikong Yi ignored Teach, but looked directly at Marco. Brother Ma, regardless of Kaya, our previous cooperation can still continue, cough 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 cough. Halfway through the speech, Sikong Yi accidentally touched the wound because of his loud voice, and suddenly coughed up a few mouthfuls of blood. Also, be careful Teach, you probably don't want to see the things in the comics come true. After saying the last sentence, Sikong Yi immediately used the ultra-distance ship to lock onto Kaya. He urgently needs Kaya's treatment now, otherwise he will burp. The reason why I chose to remind Marco was mainly because Marco kept his hand just now. Moreover, seeing the phoenix seal reminded him of the appearance of Marco in Wanokuni in the original book, wearing glasses, and shaven beard, and even more wretched than Admiral Kazaru. It's hard for Sikong Yi to imagine how Marco spent those years, actually haggard like a dead dog. Regardless of whether his reminder is useful or not, Sikong Yi can be regarded as repaying the kindness of Marco's men. Chapter 143 Marco's Analysis, the goal is directed at the town of Rog. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 14 Kun by Ji Bu Xing Dian Now 14 EP 0049TU, HP HK, 6499 Hong Kong Dollars D13 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Chi Windows 11. Where are people? Teach and Thatch exclaimed. Everyone stared at the only pool of seawater mixed with blood left at the bottom of the deep pit, and they were all stunned. Just a second ago, wasn't Sikong Yi's body still lying there? How come people disappear in the blink of an eye? Everyone sensed the range of several kilometers around through the color of knowledge, but still did not find any abnormalities, which obviously indicated that Sikong Yi had left their range of color perception of knowledge at that moment. With such abilities, all they can think of is the devil fruit of space. It's just not clear whether the caster was Sikong Yi himself, or his crew cast spells in the distance to transfer Sikong Yi away. Captain Marco, what do we do now? Teach asked anxiously. Seeing the cooked duck fly away, he was a little impetuous, with a hint of dissatisfaction in his tone. Marco took a deep look at Teach, Teach was shocked and waved his hands quickly. Captain Marco, don't look at me like that, that kid Sikong Yi is clearly using comics to sow discord. Marco withdrew his gaze and said lightly, it doesn't matter whether the plot in the comic is true or not, as long as it hasn't happened, I will treat you Teach as my brother. Hearing Marco's statement, Teach was relieved, and at the same time hated the Lord of the Internet and Sikong Yi. If it wasn't for the Lord of the Internet who inexplicably released a prophecy cartoon about him, he wouldn't be so passive. 14 and Sikong Yi deliberately mentioned the content of the manga again and again, causing him to explain it several times, and he almost couldn't go back. But what he didn't know was that the Lord of the Internet was actually the venom he had been thinking about day and night. Captain Marco, should we go back to New World by ourselves first, or go after the Zwei pirates? Sak leaned over and asked. We must chase. Kaya's ability is too important to Dad, we can't give up. Originally, Marco did have the idea of returning to New World. East Blue has been too chaotic recently, and he needs to go to the Grand Line to verify the authenticity of the comic prophecy, and returning to the New World is already a certainty. However, Kaya ran away, forcing him to change his mind. If the content of the comics is really a prophecy, then Kaya, the peerless god of medicine who can bring Dad back to his peak combat power, is the only way out for their Whitebeard pirates. That's right, Kaya must be caught for Papa's sake, Teach echoed from the side. This scene made Marco very puzzled, didn't Teach rush to the Grand Line to find the Dark Fruit? It is estimated that Marco would never have imagined that maybe only Dark Fruit in the original book can carry Teach's dream and ambition. However, since Sikong Yi traveled, the plot has changed. The Devil Fruit that can carry Teach's dream is no longer only Dark Fruit, but also has Venom Fruit. Moreover, Teach knows that Sikong Yi still has a lot of top quality fruits in his hands, so he naturally has his eyes on this so called Devil Fruit wholesaler. You wait for me here first, I will fly up to find the location of the Emperor Star. After Marco explained, the whole person spread his blue gold flame wings and soared into the sky, looking for the traces of the Ziwei pirates. Half an hour later, Marco returned to his original position with an ugly expression on his face. The pit had been filled with seawater, and the three companions around the pit immediately surrounded him when they saw him come back. But Marco didn't respond in a hurry, but was thinking. Just now, he explored Kiki Yaxi village in all directions, and explored the distance for six hours at the maximum speed of the Emperor Star, but still did not see the Emperor Star. He didn't even sense the breath of Sikong Yi and his party. It should not be possible for the Emperor Star to travel so fast, excluding all impossibilities, no matter how outrageous the case is, it must be the truth. Marco thinks of submarines, and even of the floating sky island of the Golden Lion. Obviously, the Emperor Star will either go by sea or by air. Captain Marco, haven't you found the Ziwei pirates? Seeing that Marco was silent, Siki asked loud. Marco shook his head and told everyone about his analysis. 
The pupils of the other three shrank slightly, and then they suddenly remembered that Sikong Yi and his party had gone to the Golden Lion's lair. Could it be that the Golden Lion died, and the lion fruit of the Golden Lion fell into the hands of the Ziwei pirates? But Teach thought more, he even suspected that someone in Ziwei pirates had mastered dark fruit. Whether they go by sea or by air, Kekia Sea Village is not far from Rog Town, and it is also the birthplace and execution place of Luo Jia. Their next stop is likely to be Rog Town. We can go directly to Rog Town and wait for the rabbit. After Marco finished speaking, everyone nodded. Since they lost Sikong Yi, they could only go to Rog Town for a gamble. What if they don't go? Teach asked aloud. However, Marco said firmly, they will definitely go. Even if Xiao Yi doesn't plan to go, Luffy will definitely go. After all, that little guy has inherited that man's straw hat. Teach heard the words and didn't refute. The straw hat kid really seemed like someone who would go to Rog Town. Captain Marco, I remember that Sikong Yi recruited two little girls in Kokoyasi village. How about we simply capture their adoptive mothers and let the Zwei pirates attack them, so we can take down Zwei without any effort. Pirates. Teach proposed again, but this time Marco just glanced at him, and said indifferently, We are big pirates, we act openly and above board, and threaten other pirates with the lives of ordinary civilians. Think. After speaking, Marco walked straight to the east bank. He needs to set sail immediately, trying to reach the destination before the Zwei pirates leave Rog Town. Saki and Namur glanced at Teach, but did not speak. They also felt that Teach's mood just now was a bit wrong. In the past, Teach was an honest person and never calculated ordinary people. Teach still didn't know that his impulsive suggestion just now was not only useless, but also deepened the gap between him and his partners. On the cliff on the east bank of Kokoyasi village. Watching the white group's pirate ship slowly leave, Belmal exhaled a puff of smoke, threw the finished cigarette butt on the ground and stomped hard. This group of damned pirates actually destroyed Kokoyasi village like this. Belmel, don't trouble the Whitebeard pirates, Xiao Yi gave us a lot of money last night, which can be used to build houses for the villagers and compensate for the loss. Aji En stood beside Bel Mel, admonishing Bel Mel not to be impulsive. At the same time, he said with emotion, Xiao Yi gave us so much money yesterday, I guess he has already guessed the situation today, why? HMPH, that brat is not a good thing either, since he can teleport away, then get the hell out of here, you have to fight those people before you leave. Bell Meyer was still aggrieved, and gave the middle finger to the pirate ship that was almost disappearing, and then returned to the center of the village to help a group of villagers deal with the wounded. Time back to an hour ago. About 500 meters deep in the sea, a ship is leaving Kokoyasi village. The submarine is oval in shape as a whole, the lower half is all metal shell, and the tail of the upper half is also metal shell. Only the head of the upper part is insulated by a glass cover. Through the glass cover, you can see a small pool in the middle of the deck, surrounded by a group of young children. At this moment, the boys and girls were anxiously pacing back and forth. This submarine is the third class Emperor Star, and the boys and girls are the crew members of the Ziwe Pirates. Tread, tread, Usopp paced 830 back and forth on the deck, waiting for the captain's news for a long time, which made him look a little anxious. What's wrong with the captain? Why don't you even reply to the group chat? There must be something urgent. Sabo leaned on the side of the boat and guessed, but his heart was as restless as Wu Sutong. Kaya drooped her head, and sat weakly by the pool, with her little feet sticking into the pool, she seemed to be out of interest. At this time, Luffy stood at the bow and sheared for his partners, don't worry, the captain will be fine. However, Kuina and Nuo Chigao didn't take Luffy's words seriously at all, and felt uneasy all the time. Nami and Karina are both in the captain's cabin to steer the Emperor Star, not on the deck, but seeing the panic of the crowd through the glass, the two women are also in a bad mood. Swish. Plop. At this moment, a figure suddenly appeared on the deck, and fell directly into the swimming pool, the pool water was instantly stained red with blood. Puff cough cough. As soon as Sikong Yi was delivered by the boat, he felt as if he had fallen into the sea, his body was weak, and he was about to drown in the pool. Kaya quickly dragged him onto the deck. Ahem, Kaya, didn't you just sit by the pool? Sikong Yi quickly understood after getting rid of the feeling of weakness. This swimming pool is called the Sea Stone Swimming Pool, and it is a reward for Sikong Yi to complete the side mission before going to Kokoyasi village. The sea stone swimming pool is similar to the sea stone bracelet. Swimming in it can greatly weaken the side effects of devil fruit. It's just that during this time, the friends are often not on the boat, and they are busy exercising, so they rarely use the swimming pool. Sikong Yi never expected that he wanted to be sent to Kaya by boat to be cured as soon as possible, but he was almost choked to death. Well, I'm sorry captain, I didn't know you would send me the ship, so. Chapter 144 Return to the Emperor Star and give the second daughter a boarding gift bag. Put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. Okay Kaya, no need to explain, I don't mean to blame you, you should help me treat it quickly, I feel that if it is later, my heart will go on strike. Sikong Yi interrupted Kaya's apology. Okay, okay. Kaya nodded quickly, touched Sikong Yi's shoulder with both hands, and began to treat Sikong Yi. 
Fluorescent green light permeated the whole body, and quickly repaired Sikong Yi's internal organs, followed by his comminuted fractured arms and left leg. Seeing that the body was almost healed, Sikong Yi waved his hand to interrupt Kaya's thought of continuing the treatment, even some skin trauma was not serious. After the venom recovers, it can heal itself. If Kaya is treated forcefully, she will probably fall into a coma again like last time. Captain, why didn't you return to the group chat afterwards? And you got injured all over your body. Kuina asked Sikong Yi with her hips on her hips, her eyes were slightly red, obviously she was extremely worried when she saw the captain's injury just now. Early this morning, the captain informed them of all the plans through the group chat. The task Kuina received was relatively heavy. The captain asked her to sign a passive heroic contract with the good-natured villagers in Kekia Sea Village before she could go to the West Bank to board the ship and evacuate. When they boarded the boat, the captain taught Nami how to control the Emperor Star into submarine mode, how to introduce electric current to drive the Emperor Star to sail, etc. After the Emperor Star sailed normally in the sea for a period of time, the captain suddenly disappeared, which made everyone subconsciously think that the captain had encountered an accident. Everyone waited for about half an hour, and then got news from the captain again, who was already covered with wounds and on the verge of death. I'm about to decide on armament hockey, so I want to learn from them and hit the bottleneck of armament hockey. Sikong Yi explained a sentence plainly, but the girls were extremely displeased, and Kaya pouted with an unhappy face. Captain Big Brother, if you don't care about your body like this in the future, then I will never treat you again. That's right, next time you play heartbeat, Captain, I'll kill you first. Karina came out of the captain's room at this time, and said viciously. Sikong Yi wiped off his sweat, promised again and again that he would not do it again next time, and then dismissed the crew and let them move freely. It's time to exercise, and it's okay to look at the scenery in the sea. When the crowd dispersed, Zan Kongye had time to change the emperor's asterisk. The deck is much more spacious, and the original treadmill is gone, which is a pity. The sail was gone, only a bare mast. Seeing this, Sikong Yi remembered that the pirate flag was pulled down by Venom yesterday, and it hadn't been hung yet. So Ace and Sabo were called to hang the pirate flag again. The glass cover is very strong, and there are fish schools passing by from time to time. Fortunately, after the upgrade of the Emperor Star, Lighting equipment has also been added to the deck, otherwise it is estimated that the surrounding environment cannot be seen clearly. Walking into the cabin, the left side of the cabin is a kitchen, and the right side is a bathroom, which is much more spacious than before. Inside the cabin, there is a spiral staircase. Sikong Yi walked down the stairs and came to the second floor of the Emperor Star, and he saw a straight corridor passing through the middle. The electricity is sufficient and the lights are always on. Although the corridor looks narrow, it doesn't feel cramped at all. There are eight one-bedroom cabins on each side of the corridor, for a total of sixteen. The sliding doors are opaque and have fingerprint locks. This one is rather high-tech. There is also a bathroom at the end of the corridor, which is very convenient for going to the toilet at night. Since no one has chosen single-bedroom cabins, all single-bedroom cabins are currently unoccupied. Sikong Yi opened a room at will, and was instantly stunned by the scene in front of him. I saw that the single-bedroom cabin is only four cubic meters in total, with a bed on the top and a table on the bottom. The beds are similar to the previous two-bedroom cabin. Tables, chairs and lamps are all available, and there is a small wardrobe on the side of the table, which can store some clothes and dyes. Tisk tisk, when will I be able to make a bedroom of 20 square meters? Sikong Yi sighed with emotion, and didn't mean to dislike him. After all, the entire Emperor Star is only 120 cubic meters, and the 16 single-bedroom cabins take up more than half of the space, so what is there for him to be dissatisfied with? Fortunately, the deck area is not counted in the Emperor Star space, otherwise it would only be smaller. After browsing the Emperor Star, Sikong Yi found Nuo Kagao and took Nuo Chi to the captain's cabin to meet Nami. Captain, your ship is so cool, Nami did not hesitate to praise, she really likes this pirate ship with perfect metal texture and sense of technology. Especially those novel functions, such as navigator, automatic repair and other functions, are simply technologies beyond modern technology. Nami was taught by Sikong Yi to drive the Emperor Star in the group chat, during which he naturally learned how to use the navigator and the automatic repair function. These are trivial things, I will show you a real battleship in the future. Sikong Yi smiled lightly. By the way, every new crew member who boards the ship will receive a boarding gift package. When Sikong Yi was speaking, he was also checking the system prompts. Ding! Intern Nuo Kagao boarded the ship, please choose the boarding package. Option 1. Sage Body. Option 2. Woods Modeling Magic. Option 3. Tigu Quick Toss Tangma. Ding! Intern Nami is boarding, please choose the boarding package. Option 1. Rat Charm. Option 2. Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic. 17. Option 3. Tegu Thunder God's Wrath. Sage Body. The physique of Sage of Six Paths, possessing massive vitality. Wood Shape Magic. Manipulate plants by consuming physical strength, and change them into various shapes according to the caster's wishes. Tegu Quick Toss Ranma. It belongs to the Six Ball Tegu. It needs to be thrown to activate, and the ball will automatically fly after the throw. Rat Charm. 
represents the power of life, can endow static energy, and enable non-living things to have life and action capabilities. Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic Transform yourself into the body of Thunder Dragon, master the magic of Thunder Dragon, and have the ability to slay dragons. Diamond Suit Taigu Thunder God's Wrath Taigu, who manipulates the thundercloud, can summon lightning to attack the enemy. The attack power is very high and the range is very wide. After hitting the opponent, it can also make the opponent paralyzed and unable to move. After roughly scanning the six characteristics, Nami obviously can only choose to win the spell. As for Nuokagao, the three characteristics are very good. It's just that Tigu Kuido Ranma doesn't seem to match with Nuachigao's orange fruit. Although both can be thrown, it is obviously of little significance. Instead of choosing a quick cast mess, choose Sage Body. As for wood style magic, it is the ability in Fairy Tale, but Sikong Yi thinks this ability is simply a weakened version of wood style. Instead of choosing a used wood style, and still a used wood style without a sage body, go straight to the sage body. Sage body should be able to produce unexpected effects on plant devil fruit. System, I choose the two characteristics of sage body and rad charm. With a thought in Sikong Yi's mind, the two abilities were integrated into the bodies of Nuokagao and Nami. Nuokagao only felt that the vitality in his body seemed to be much stronger. Before, Nuokagao could only produce one orange at a time, but now she feels that she can produce various kinds of oranges at the same time, and the quantity is much more than before. I, Nuokagao opened her mouth, not knowing what to say for a moment. Not one day after she joined the Ziwe Pirates, the captain gave her two big gifts, which was really kind to them. Hey, why'd I have an extra tattoo on my left hand, and it looks like a mouse? Nami exclaimed, and Nuokagao hurried to Nami to ask about the situation. Seeing this, Sikong Yi gave a general introduction to the two daughters. Nami breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the words. It turned out to be a spell. I remember that Kaya and Usopp also had one on their hands. When Kaya treated Bel Mel yesterday and you just now, the tattoo that looked like a horse's head seemed to be shiny. The ability of the rat charm is to revitalize the dead and give life to the still life, so can I give life to the Emperor Star? As a navigator, Nami's first thought is the ship under his feet. You can try. Sikong Yi also wants to see what the Emperor Star will be like with, Li Zhao's, spirituality. Can I eat lion fruit, or jianchung fruit, combined fruit, etc? Is it possible to automatically navigate, automatically warn, etc? What makes Sikong Yi most curious is, if the Emperor Star has spirituality, will it still regard him as the only master, or will there be an extra female master? Okay. Nami put his hands on the operating table, his hands glowed with taupe light, which gradually transmitted into the interior of the Emperor Star. One minute. Five minutes, ten minutes. Nami let go of her little hand, with a frustrated face. My physical strength is not enough to completely cover the entire Emperor Star facility. Seeing this, Sikong Yi was also a little regretful, but he still relieved and said, It's okay, you can bring the Emperor Star back to life after your physical strength reaches the standard. The three chatted for a while, and Sikong Yi left the captain's cabin, took a shower, changed his clothes, and then returned to the second floor. There are 16 one bedroom cabins, Sikong Yi plans to reserve the eight inner cabins for girls, and the outer eight cabins for boys. Sikong Yi chose the eighth cabin from the outside to the inside. Without him, auspicious. Of course, it is also because this one bedroom cabin is relatively close to the female dormitory. In case someday, he, after entering the fingerprints, Sikong Yi entered the room and fell asleep. Chapter 145 Nu Uchigao's planting ship would rather kill a thousand by mistake, put on the shelves and ask for a subscription to ask for a flower ticket. HP 15.6 Kun Bai Ji Bu Xing Dian Now 15's FQ 5057 TU, HPHK, 5 Hong Kong Dollars, 499 D12 Dai Intel Core i5 Chu Li Chi Windows. Sikong Yi slept until the next afternoon, and because he was so hungry, he couldn't help crawling out of his comfortable nest. Ah, yawning, Sikong Yi slowly walked out of the single bedroom cabin, washed up, and came to the reception cabin, where he saw several girls talking and laughing together. What's the topic? Sikong Yi asked curiously but the result naturally caused all the girls to roll their eyes. The older Makino covered his mouth and chuckled, it's not a gentleman's manner to ask about the chatting content between girls. But I'm a pirate and not a gentleman. Sikong Yi took it for granted, what is a gentleman, can that thing be eaten? Speaking of eating, Sikong Yi's stomach growled suddenly, and Makino smiled slightly, it seems that Xiao Yi is hungry, wait for me for a while, and I will make you some delicious food now. Thank you. Sikong Yi thanked, sat straight on a corner of the sofa, and looked at Nuo Kagao who was on the opposite sofa. Nuo Chigao, I forgot to ask yesterday, what kind of auxiliary ship did you get? Well, what I got is a planter, which can grow vegetables, fruits and grains, as well as some flowers and trees. And I can also choose three of the plants to give spirituality to assist me in fighting. Nuo Kagao made some words and told Sikong Yi the information he had obtained. The latter nodded, thinking that this auxiliary ship is very practical. At least in the future, I don't have to worry about being malnourished in the sea. 
Seawater can be purified into pure water, vegetables, fruits and grains can be self-cultivated, and fishing can be carried out at any time when there is a lack of meat, which perfectly realizes the all-round supply of food. The planting ship can't be abandoned. After we arrive in Rog Town, we will leave it to you to purchase all kinds of seeds. Sikong Yi gave Nu Okagao the first task of joining the pirates. And appointed Nu Okagao as the chief gardener of Ziwe Pirates, with 50 million monthly pocket money. In fact, every member of the 907th Army team will manage a secondary ship, and it stands to reason that they should all belong to special positions. However, Sikong Yi finally judged it as a regular job, that is, the job that the system originally assigned to the Pojun team. The reason why Nu Okagao was singled out was because the gardener, like the doctor, was a duty to serve the entire crew. Similarly, Luffy's deputy captain is responsible for protecting the safety of all crew members, and Makino is responsible for the logistic support of all crew members, so the two also have extra pocket money. Although both Kuina and Karina are the management's second ships, this is the responsibility and obligation of the breaking army. The rewards have been included in the various gift packages, so naturally no extra pocket money will be given. After the appointment of Nuo Kagao, Nami, a little money fan, naturally cannot be ignored. So Sikong Yi immediately appointed Nami as the chief navigator, with 70 million pocket money per month. The reason why he is willing to spend so much pocket money for distribution is because it can mobilize the enthusiasm of the crew. His move is equivalent to converting the big pot meal style pirate system into a new pirate system based on work. If you only use dreams and fetters to trap the crew under your hands, it is not a long-term solution after all. In the future, each of you will realize your dreams, so will it be possible to part ways and live your own lives? He, Bede, is not an unscrupulous businessman, and he squeezed the labor force and didn't pay him wages, so that's not justified. Moreover, Venom is currently building an internet financial system, and he will be able to use the internet to make money in a short time, so he doesn't have to worry about not being able to pay his wages at all. Say Sao Sao, Sao Sao arrives. As soon as Sikong Yi thought of Venom, the sound of Venom entered his mind. Master, after two days, I have created a positioning app, not only for my own use, but also for other users. After the Venom explanation, Sikong Yi roughly sorted out the two uses of the positioning app. One is the self-use version, Venom can locate any user at any time. The second is the civilian version, where users can enable location sharing for other people, allowing them to locate their own location. The civilian version of the positioning app is temporarily free, and it is considered to provide some benefits to users who have always supported Beto Internet. Master, next I will focus on the development of nuclear energy fruits and dimensional phalanxes. When developing dimensional phalanxes, I need to leave your body. Venom suddenly said, Sikong Yi naturally understands that developing Tigu is different from developing fruits, and requires an independent external environment. So Sikong Yi agreed without hesitation. Oh, by the way, Venom, before developing the nuclear energy fruit and the dimensional phalanx, you should finish drawing the summit war part of, High Fat Book. Master. Why is this? Venom was puzzled. Isn't the top priority now to solve the problem of the internet financial system? It, Venom, is the man who is going to be the master of the internet. I feel like Teach is after me, and I don't think Marco is going to leave East Blue without Kaya, so I'm going to give them some trouble. As you wish, Master. Venom thought for a moment, and felt that the master's analysis made sense, so he immediately started painting. Hey, hey, Captain, what are you in a daze for? Tell me, are you browsing some nasty posts on the internet? Nami suddenly approached Sikong Yi's face and asked in a cold voice, while the other girls were all curious. What are you thinking? Sikong Yi tapped Nami's little head angrily. Then he took out three sea stone bracelets, handed them to Karina, Nami and Nuo Kagao respectively, and explained to the three women. This is a sea stone bracelet, worn regularly can eliminate the side effects of devil fruit. Kuina got one before, and Kaya and Makino haven't eaten devil fruit yet, so they don't need it for now. After the three women expressed their thanks, Makino also served the food. Sikong Yi ate a table of delicious food like a storm, came to the deck, greeted the boys and started physical training. Seeing this, Kuina, Karina and Kaya also participated in the training. Nuo Kagao and Nami have just boarded the ship, and they are not used to this mode of exercising whenever they have time, but they are in full swing with Makino. In this regard, Sikong Yi didn't say much, and they always need to give them some adaptation period. The Emperor Star sailed on the bottom of the sea for another day, and the draft of the Summit War chapter was completely drawn by Venom at this time. Sikong Yi looked it over and thought it was good, so he let Venom release it. I'm really looking forward to it, will Brother Ma fight with Teach? Kingdom of Goa. At the first time when the manga of Sea Fat King was updated for the second time, Garp filled the whole desk with a pile of senbei, intending to eat senbei while reading the manga. When I am older, I like to have some fun to pass the time. And reading comics, especially those related to the Whitebeard Pirates, is the best way to pass the time. In the Sea of Consciousness, Garp opened the fourth chapter with a thought. The Summit War started, and the Whitebeard Pirates advanced into Marineford through coding, and started a hand-to-hand -hand battle with Marine. Surrounded by phone bugs, apparently broadcasting live to the world. 
Then, the screen changed, and the Black Fat Teach led all his Black Fat Pirates to impel down through the Gate of Justice. Make impel down, defeat Magellan, the Black Fat Teach successfully entered the sixth floor, and recruit a group of vicious big pirates. Seeing this, Pooh's face sank. Teach joined the seven warlords of the sea, originally to obtain the qualification to enter impel down. I really underestimated this guy, it seems that I need to report to Sengoku how dangerous Teach is. Garp muttered to himself, then took out his phone bug and called Sengoku. Asterisk 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 it is located in the sea between Kokoyasi village and Rog town. On the Whitebeard pirate ship, after seeing Teach actually go to impel down in the comics to recruit a group of big pirates, Marco decided that Teach was an out and out lunatic. In order to recruit partners, he did not hesitate to count Whitebeard pirates and marine, two behemoths, and then ran to impel down majestically. Such a character, if he said that he had been lurking in the Whitebeard pirates for 20 years for dark fruit, he would not have the slightest doubt. After that, Marco basically skipped the regular fighting content. Without Luffy, many original plots have been cut by Venom. So Marco soon saw the end, Teach and a group of crew appeared in the Summit War, and killed Dad. In the end, he even used Dark Fruit to absorb Dad's Shock Fruit, becoming a double fruit capable user and the biggest winner of the Summit War. At the end of Chapter 10, the Red Hair Pirates came on stage and concluded the Summit War with the phrase, Give me some face. After watching this updated, Sea Fat King, Marco couldn't be calm for a long time. Double Fruit Ability Face fruit ability. The most important thing is that their Whitebeard pirates actually lost, and they lost completely. Although he was rescued in the comics, he got an old man in half of the white group. If the red hair pirates hadn't appeared at the end, their white group probably would have been out of 10. Marco's eyes were slightly red, and he really wanted to tell himself that this was just a cartoon, and all the content in it was false. However, the figure of his father's death gave him too much impact, and the scene of Teach ruining his father's body made him even more mad. There is an old saying, it is better to believe what you have than to believe what you have not. No, it should be, I would rather kill a thousand by mistake than let one go, Marco's heart to kill Teach at this moment became stronger and stronger. The same goes for Thatch and Amir.